Hi, I'm Matt. I'm one of the game masters here at the Favorite Few Gaming Group. Our game worlds may include real world issues and there can be adult subjects and themes in our sessions. While our goal is never to promote or extol them, issues such as drug and alcohol use, sexism, racism, and addiction all exist within our game worlds, along with adult themes such as explicit language, sex, and violence. We ask you to remember that this is a fantasy and a role-playing game. Nothing said during any of our sessions should ever be taken as a depiction of who we are as people, nor our political or social ideologies. We are simply players sitting around a table playing the roles of fictional and imaginary characters. Viewer discretion is advised. We thank you for your understanding. If you choose to continue, I really hope you enjoy the show. Through death throws. Or am I throwing into a chokehold? Good evening, yeah. Internet. <laughs> Welcome to the third and final episode of Broken Memories, the prequel to A Suit Nut Crystal and Memories. Uh, say hey, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, Hello, everybody. Hi, everyone. So here we are once again to roll dice and pretend we're other people for a few hours. That's it's what I'm about pretend. I am time. these people. <laughs> I am people. <laughs> what do you mean? What's up, wobble people? <laughs> Apparently, the head chat tore up. Like, a buddy of mine was listening in on that uh, session, and he's like, I left for like five minutes after you said, What do you mean, you people? <laughs> I was like, Really? That's Is that what another it? one? That's a fucking other Look, one. Look, it's another one. No Jerry, one. what are you doing, man? I didn't do anything. Yeah, uh huh. Flying through the spider webs like nothing there. <laughs> <laughs> I got the oh, spider oh, over crash. You guys, oh, are... it's up. No, oh, you up guys gonna go kill it? It needs to. Yeah, die. give me a bottle of D &D axe and a lighter. bug edition. <laughs> yep. It set yeah, his whole house yeah. on fire. Uh, the bee but is the bee dead. Would be dead. <laughs> right out of the say. It's a small. Kill it. We're though. killing a Japanese hornet. Again. Again. So <laughs> weird. Paper two. I just, I have <laughs> never seen them here. Did he get his chopsticks again? <laughs> you can have this dumpling. You, know? you can take it from my hand. That's what she said. We just had to say it, and then like, yeah, yeah, that was oh. like yeah. Rod was being. Yeah, they summoned it. Is he big mad? Did Max really go after him with a knife? I think. I think Max is gonna stab it. <laughs> You put your foot up to the window? Fuck yeah. That's impressive. He learned karate. Karate. Just so that way he can beat it down. <laughs> yeah, I've read a bunch of... Yeah, I got a bunch of... It's good for you. Cobra Kai. I got them all for a half again. Cobra Kai. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's a great show. Yeah. Oh my god, Wobbly subscribed. That's our first easier. subscription. Ah. We got a subscription. Welcome, Wobbly. It's because of the bee killing. It yeah. is. It's because we slayed the bee. <laughs> exactly. His soul. I think you might altar. need to like call Orkin or something if you got that many Japanese hornets it's in your house. But weird. That's it. Only happens now. It's it's just Jerry and I. <laughs> it's got to be it's it's, animal magnetism. It's, not it's like about the what demon hunter downstairs. campaign where like demons only show up because we hunt demons. Bees only show up because we kill them. There you go. They know you're here. They rise to the challenge. <laughs> and then they fall to it. That's true. <laughs> that's why wizard. <laughs> well, that time I cast shoes, so. <laughs> so this is the plan, guys. This is away from John. Uh, we're going to take a long way. to kill John and take a shotgun. And I, you I will laid. have the shotgun. I you, <laughs> you know what? That and then we shall rule the world. You know, technically, I'd get paid the same, regardless if we take the money from doing the task or taking it from his corpse. Now we just need him to say, you're getting paid? <laughs> just, what? <laughs> okay. Last we left our heroes. We burned down a church. <clears throat> now, 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 when now we say we, we <laughs> I burned down the church. I have no memory. The DM burnt down the church. All I did was steal was successfully nice. the gold out of there. Inspiration. He wrote a small narrative for his character this week. You guys are getting Benny. So. Yep. Yeah. I wrote about Scraw. 
No, you wrote about the little old man. I did write about him too. You're in it. But I primarily <laughs> talked about Scraw. <laughs> I, I did refer to you guys as uh, old children. Because yeah, I couldn't quite describe you. Scraw loves like the old children. <laughs> Scraw loves to talk about Scraw. He, he does. does. He's the biggest fan. <laughs> is his biggest fan. It's only got one person rooting for Renny. Renny. Yeah, sorry. Okay. So, yes, uh, John had bought a fireball yeah. uh, from Vincent. I've got two platinum. I have no idea what to do with any of it. <laughs> I don't think we're shopping this session. <laughs> Welcome to D&D &D Mall Edition. Mall. <laughs> Welcome to the kiosk. So, uh, everybody gets a long rest. You camp so out. we're totally healing. Yep. I need to roll new dice. A one and a 17. <laughs> That's yeah. exactly what you're looking for. That's exactly <laughs> what I'm looking for. <laughs> the only thing that would have been better is a one and a 20. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Ooh, I got my spell slots. So, uh, morning comes. And with it, a gloomy sky. Um, but as you're traveling throughout the day, um, the sky opens up a little bit. The sun begins to shine somewhat. Um, as you make your way for the first half of the day out of the the foothills that um, make up the biggest part of Iron Mill, you uh, you begin to smell smoke and soot and ash. And not too long after that, as you come around to bend the expanse of uh, Luxembourg, makes its <coughs> makes itself known. I got a cool picture too. Everybody likes cool pictures, right? Does it have a gazebo? Yeah. <laughs> Up below them. It's very much a city that is built at the bottom of a mountain where a mount or a mine has been turned into a fortress. <clears throat> and it is still being mined for ore to this day. And as far as written history goes, it's always been mined for ore. <clears throat> it is. What, what kind of ore? <laughs> hmm? What kind of ore? <clears throat> um, mostly copper. Okay. Where it's where it comes from the uh, that is the primary resource that's produced here is copper. Oh yes, I've read about this place. Uh, they uh, fabricate many uh, electrical uh, equipments. They do. Um, as you get close, uh, it takes you the better part of the afternoon to uh, to get to the gates of the city. You end up there roughly five or six in the evening, something like that. Okay. Um, and now I read my prompt. <laughs> um, John stood to one side of the iron gates of Luxembourg the air was permeated with the smell of ash and smoke from the forges and refineries the overcast sky's unseasonably cold temperature felt like ominous as the party loomed before the largest city in Iron Mill John put his back to the gate and leaned up against it removed the cigarette from the metal case he kept to the other side of his duster Small strike of a match later, and John felt like the reassuring rush of nicotine make its way through his lungs and into his bloodstream. After a couple of moments, John leveled his gaze to the party. His eyes were cold, hateful, and void of any semblance of humanity. He exhaled a mouthful of smoke and addressed the party. Your job's done. You've honored our agreement, and I appreciate you. Here's payment as agreed upon. John removed a small leather pouch from his pack and placed it in Vincent's hand with an audible clink of coins inside. <clears throat> John lowered his gaze and took another drag off his cigarette. I say it earnestly. Y'all don't want no part of what happens next. I ain't going in here expecting to come out. This is a one-way ticket. If there are any real gods up there, they will surely look away from what I'm going to do to Tristan. <clears throat> Shit, I lost my place. Father Charles, and also her. John looked skyward as he slipped out his flask and took a pull from it. 
Yolanda's homemade whiskey burned all the way to his stomach. She really knew how to make the good stuff. If you fancy corner baubles from the fallen, famed for having seen it firsthand, or just want a good fight to prove you're the strongest, you're welcome to follow me. But just so you know, you chose it. They knew payment in it. And you're also under no obligation to me from this point on. If you get killed or get between what I'm after, that's on you. And just so you know, John looking over at the righteous paladin and the little honest druid. Ain't no redemption or salvation for me on this road. My heart and soul won't rest till it's done. John finished his cigarette and ashed the butt against the bottom of his boot. He took another pull of the whiskey. He turned to the party and tips his hat and walks through the gate. So we go home, right? You want to? No, we're going in. I'm going. <clears throat> I didn't expect to be paid so soon. Uh, originally, I thought we were going to say this to the end. Whatever you'd like to do. I don't think he got the balls for it. I've got to see this. <laughs> got to see it. Huh? Got to see it and believe it. Follow. Of course, follow. Yes. <laughs> this is a one shot. It doesn't matter what happens. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, as you move through the, the city, um, it bustles and the sun begins to set after an hour or so. And John seems to know where he's going. He's not asking for directions and he's not reading street signs. He's just moving along like he's always lived here. Um, after some time, he uh, goes off to one side of the street and there's a street vendor that's selling some sort of fried something on a stick. And, uh, <laughs> and he, it's on a stick. He, uh, he's on a stick. <laughs> he buys one of them and uh, walks over to one side and there's a small table and he sits down and he begins to eat. Come, sit down if you want to. I'll do the same. Hmm. Uh, how much is in the, the bag that he handed me? Roughly 15,000 gold worth of gold. Hmm. We all get a piece of that bag. What? Yeah. You said you guys were getting paid for the Dwarven Fortress. Okay. We helped you out with that. <laughs> you helped but us out with this. We helped you out there. Like, we might, we might work something There's out. enough in there to where you three, which are typically, you know, work together, uh, shouldn't have to work again for at least a year. I don't know about a year. Mm -hmm. I don't think I'm about to retire. <laughs> and that's living lavishly, you know what I mean? And somebody's got a gambling problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> tell you what, drink next time. Do not call on me when you run out of this. My third cousin, twice removed, just inherited a house, and apparently he has taxes he has to pay. <laughs> We're so I'll be mailing money. this money uh, <laughs> to him so that way he can pay his house taxes. So you can give him money. No, I... <laughs> oh, you didn't take it. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. <laughs> you're right. You're right. Wow. I don't know what I was thinking. Well, actually, you, you can have some of mine. I don't really care. Excellent. I'll take it all. <laughs> I, I said some. I said some. <laughs> um, he sits and he eats with you and he... He talks about uh, how John explains that he's been here before, that he's done business here, and that shortly <laughs> after recruitment, uh, they base this was basically where Meps was, <laughs> and uh, mm. they bring you in here and they break you down and send you and shoot you full of chemicals, and then you go off to boot. Sounds and, about right. <clears throat> and he uh, explains that the the life that sort of surrounds Luxembourg is uh, it's about money. And if you ain't about making it, keeping it, or spending it, nobody wants anything to do with you here. Um, after roughly 20 minutes, you I mean he buys you all an animal on a stick. <laughs> <laughs> he says, okay. And he, you see, he sort of holds his head down like he doesn't really want to finish what he has to say, but he's, he shakes his duster and he continues down the street. Um, is there yeah. any live animal on a stick? <laughs> what? I mean, if, there's, if you have money, you can about get anything you want. Excellent. Do you want a live animal on a stick? 
Yeah. Okay. But over, like, if you cook it, then it's dead. Oh, What's you want to fight it? You want to fight it to? No, I want to take its life. Oh, I'm a predator. <laughs> You're Jarna. I want to feel its bones crack beneath my talon. And you can, <laughs> and it's wonderful. It's class. Oh. Who's to see the tail? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to be disgusted or slightly impressed. <laughs> Both. You can be both. Right. Can I'm both. torn also. <laughs> I like this city. As you move around one corner, um, John stops in the street and he uh, he looks over at the site before him and there's two big iron refineries on either side of a much smaller structure. Um, this You're borderline out of residential at this point and into more... Manufacturing. Uh, yeah, manufacturing, you know, okay. that sort of area. And um, the small chapel that sat snuggled against the southern wall was warmed by the alloy <laughs> refineries to its left and its right. It was noisy, smoky, and seemed out of place. Hence why it had been so cheap for Father Charles Tilanago to afford. <clears throat> it subscribed to no god or faith. It served only as a place for spirituality mm -hmm. and peace for the lost and the weary. Those that wanted a marriage with the blessing of a faith, but but uh, but that faith being nothing but to each other, you could have it here. John walked toward the small structure. He remembered his first chip here to contact Charles to minister his wedding to Vespera in the rolling foothills of Iron Mill. He had been overjoyed when the preacher had agreed to the ceremony for next to no money. It had been a small, quiet, intimate ceremony. Layla had been Vespera's witness and maid of honor. Tristan had been John's best man at witness. Tristan and Layla both had their names on John's marriage certificate, along with Father Charles. John stomped up the small stairs and turned the door handle. As he pushed open the door, the smell of lavender hit him in the nose as he pushed inside. You follow. follow. You follow yeah. in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, no, wasn't it, was Charles the one that married his um, brother to his wife? He's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness. The dim candle lit from hundreds of candles illuminated the once beautiful cathedral. Pews were in disarray. Books were scattered about, and the floor had given way to a small flower bed in the center of the room. A man in priestly vestments knelt before the flowers. He spoke. All things give way to life that cannot be contained or stamped out. Eventually, everyone and everything returns to the Evercrystal. The man spoke as he slowly and sluggishly rose to his feet. John took a few steps forward. Smoke began to pour out of the sides of John's coat and out of his collar and down his chest. His eyes took on an amber glow as he locked them on Father Charles. He said the smoke was coming Literally? out of his mouth and flowing downwards? Yes. Interesting. Mm. So not a, not a... Father Charles Sorry. cocked his head to one side. I get it. Damn, I lost my place. Right. <clears throat> Father Charles cocked his head to one side, seemingly curious at what he was seeing. Have you come to send me home, John? Have you come to kill me for binding together two people that love each other? As I did for you all those years ago? Have you really come to execute the priest for doing what he thought was right? She was not yours to bind. She was mine! She was my wife! She was my everything! And you binded him to him. Not only in the same way, but in the same place, priest. Father Charles opened his mouth to speak, but John rapidly closed the gap between them. It'll be... No ever crystal for you. 
Your soul will be his for eternity. Your time is up, priest. Roll initiative. Oh, he wants us to kill the priest with? Fuck yeah. Oh. I'm getting some Percival vibes. <laughs> Seven. Let me set it up real quick. Keep your rope. Perfect. That's perfect. And the priest is an old man now, correct? Yes. Oh, yeah. He, I mean, how far He's going to be basically defenseless. Help, right? <laughs> John would be here. Okay. Okay. Neffin, what'd you get? Seven. Seven. And Bronwyn? 13. 13. And Scraw? 15. 15. Yeah. Trank? 11. 11. Vincent? I rolled a 12, so that makes it a 12. <laughs> <laughs> and John. It's John Kitchen. Four. Huh? He's too emotional. It's not he's, he's a little upsetty. Uh, and he's like, ah, oh, defenseless old man. Why wow. not thinking about nothing? Father Charles coming in hot with the 19. Father Charles gonna run. <laughs> All right. Maybe there's like a. Uh, he's gonna straight master Roshi. He's gonna <laughs> throw his robes <laughs> off, chuck his 500 pound shell off him. And then we get hit with a lightning bolt through John. Oh, man. <laughs> John's going to be like, I don't know what you're saying, priest. Blah. <laughs> I, was thinking he's gonna look I was just trying to put the fire out on the mountain, not level the whole mountain. <laughs> okay. So, Father Charles is first. All right. So, uh, Father Charles, his first action, he will uh, he will hold up uh, his holy symbol and he will cast a sanctuary. After that, he will use a special bonus action and fail horribly. Oh, no. God's not listening right now. <laughs> Try again later. Um, Scraw is first. What is sanctuary? Do? Uh, it, 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 it's a DC to, to be to actually be able to hurt him. Otherwise, oh. you just stand there. I don't want to hurt you, bro. Peace and love, man. Uh, so, uh, uh, Scraw would like to make a uh, intimidation check on John. I uh, would like to focus, John. Think about the kill. Don't just go in crazy. Focus. Okay. I'm going to try to guide him. Okay. I want him to focus his rage. Sure. His next level will be being barbarian. Uh, 18 for him. Well, I rolled a 10, but I am very terrifying. So, uh, DM's discretion as to whether I have advantage or not, because I'm just so amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you're a level 5 barbarian. <laughs> but you're still terrifying. So, uh, uh, comes out clipped, clearly. Yeah. John! Stop sucking! Focus on your rage! Focus on your rage! But I'm whispering it, and so he can't hear me. Okay. A little fat bird bear in. And then I'm going to fly up so I can get a better view. I would like to fly. How tall is the roof in here? Uh, roughly 15 feet, give or take. I will fly up to the rafters. Uh, I'll put a compass on the map so you can tell me. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. West, you... roughly uh, uh, 25 feet west and 10 feet up. Uh, and I will... Uh, 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 just hang out on a truss. Uh, There's and plenty of roost up there, and just kind of watch down, eating popcorn like Michael Jackson in a, uh, in a movie theater. Make me a free perception check while you're up there. Hell yeah, I love perception. It's my favorite thing in the world. I know. Oh, it's, I rolled what I wanted to roll. 
23. Oh, you did great. Um, so as you see this sort of unfolding around, uh, you realize that you guys are not alone in the room. There's a, uh, on either side, yeah, you're eating your live thing. Yeah. Uh, uh, along the wall to either side, there seems to be these uh, slinking figures that are pressed against the wall, but they are very much alive. Excellent. I don't tell anybody. Cool. I just watch. <laughs> Bronwyn. I'm going to hold my action. Okay. You move? You look happy where you are? I'll move up. I'll go under where Sprawl is. Like a penguin ship every five seconds. Never mind. Put me. I'm going to lay my ship I am massive birds. <laughs> About you. Good for you. See the screen. Yes, I can let's see the screen. There you go, Waffle. So that's Bronwyn. Vincent. Oh yes, um, don't necessarily want to cause harm to this old man. He seems fairly innocent. Uh, I'll just, I'll cast Mage Armor on myself. Okay. Want to move? Mm, no. Drink. Yeah, I don't know. I'm with him. Uh, Mage Armor? I don't have Mage Armor. He does have shield, but that's yeah. a reaction thing. Yeah, it's a reaction. Okay. So, well, I get invisibility. My, nothing's happening yet. Yeah, I think it was hold. I was hold. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's gonna I'd like to move. All right there. Where? All right here. Okay. About there. That's fine. Um, can I see? The shadowy figure things. Uh, oh, yeah. If you make a perception like check, you can. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, yes, you can. I bet you he tells us. Where would they be at? They seem to be along the walls between the windows. How many of them? Uh, from where you're standing and what you can perceive, you know, you can see at least four. Where would they be at? Like two here and two over there? Where are there four on this wall? Yeah, there's four on that wall that you can see. Oh, yeah, no biggie. Hmm. Um. Detect magic on them. Okay. I don't know. Uh, there, oh, there is. So with detect magic, you you find nothing. They they don't seem to be using magic to hide. They're just sneaky. I want to say, do they look sketchy? Do they have a ring round of their feet. <laughs> they're a red circle. A ring around, around their feet. Them. Um, yeah. Do they have the red circle? Are they or? red circle? Oh, that means they're bad. There are shadowy figures on the walls. Oh, why'd you have to tell? Them? The jig's up. <laughs> Thank you. Sharing. He's a good team player. Be better at things. Uh, as you say that, uh, you audibly hear from just behind <laughs> you, you know, against all your, you know, is a, a frustration, and uh, these figures break away from the walls. Woo! See, they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, more than four. red circles. Are they human? They look to be. So they, they get a turn. These two first. Just skulking around the church. They are. <clears throat> One stab into Niffin. Nothing with a two. Second stab into Niffin. With an eight. They, they, they're not good at stabbing. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Six. This is what I'm talking about, John. Both of, <laughs> both of them will strike at John and 17 will hit him and 9 will not 
so one uh one blade goes wide and uh the second blade um sinks in deep um and as it does all of you hear the audible sound uh, and it's almost like a swelling of air and the knife um inverts in the in the guy's hand and you see him and he drives it into his own chest and john turns her an, an eye back toward him and just snarls and then turns it back to father charles and so he rolls damage against any himself. Of us have seen a move like that no no wow he kills him Shit. <laughs> 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 Reflect damage, hundred <laughs> percent. Yep, it's a good roll. It's really good roll. We have the uh, space He's a space wizard. <laughs> and at the bottom of the round is John. He's not holding uh, it. Uh, John will turn and reach his left palm out to the fellow adjacent to him. And uh, as he, oh my God! <laughs> and as he does, uh, he dislocates his soul from his body. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's that's actually kind of true about what he does. He reaches his hand out, and as he does, these black, this, this black smoke turns into these tendrils, like a uh, almost eldritch, and they wrap around this guy's head, and he's, you know, he's screaming <laughs> in it, and uh, everybody sees it sort of work its way into his mouth, and you see, and he opens, and it just and peels his skull all the way back. And exposes the meat of his head, and he collapses about. to the ground. Lovely. And he'll take a step forward. And that's his turn. So we see like inky black darkness exuding from John. Yes, it's not good. Mm. So I held my turn. So can I go now? Yes, absolutely. I'll go after the. The inky darkness oh. behind our friend. Well, he is behind Papa Smurf. <laughs> oh, okay. The yes. Wow. Hit him. You can do it. Not wrong. Here. You got this, babe. Oh, that's funny. Uh, oh. Just obliterated. Yep. <laughs> Probably both. What was his name? name? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what his name was. Not twenty plus nine. Twenty nine. So that's four. Ah, yep, yeah, forty six. Do you want my four? No. You want to roll the damage on them? Roll damage. We'll see if it's terrible, then I won't do it. You re roll one since you Yeah. I know. So you roll 16, two. Fourteen. Yeah, fourteen and a D six. Seventeen, 17 plus plus six. Twenty three. Still alive, or did he just get? Uh... No, he's obliterated. No, oh, okay. Yeah. I have another action. I'll stab the one next to him too. Okay. She uh, had uh, shiny silver strike out of her body. No, nineteen. <laughs> just a nineteen. I know, I know. It's only a nineteen. So you're not champion fighter if you were. Mm. <laughs> yes, it's true. Ooh, I get to You're reroll one. that one. Thank yeah. God. It's better than a one. Five plus six, so eleven. Yep, eleven. Yeah. Okay. Eleven. Should you get a free intimidation <laughs> check on the guy next to her? <laughs> I mean, he should be. He's a. Uh, he has soiled himself thoroughly. <laughs> <laughs> like how would all those scenes where you just see blood splatter at somebody? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. All right. Group two. Well, Tank held his turn too, though, right? He did. Not Tank, which are, that's not right. Trank. 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 So Trank yep. can go. Hmm. If you want. He can go stab you, something. Do you hold your turn too? No. no I held mine. He did. He right, captured me. He became less squishy. Yes. Hmm. All right. Uh, the two over there in the far corner closest to me. Okay. Uh, magic missile. Wasn't it? I can do two. Was it three hit that three hits? Yeah, it's yeah. three hits. So, well, there's that guy over there too. If I was to send one at this guy, would it endanger any of my party? 
No, magic missile automatically hits. Yeah. yeah. So you don't right. have. So it's like you just say you're doing it, then you roll damage. Yeah. All right. One at this guy, and then the other two. Okay. At them. All right. So roll, roll them d fours for each one. The um. Uh, you said what was it? Four. D four. D four. The pyramid looking one. Yeah. The one we had trouble seeing last time. Yeah. One. Four. Four. One. One. So is that two damage to the the one guy and six yeah. damage to another guy? It was just enough to. Right. Really? Oh, that's well, right. Because he was already hit. That's right. Yeah. I was like, Five and seven. Nice. So yes. Yeah. You magic missile him after <laughs> hacking through the first guy. Yes, you're right. <laughs> so Trike, you've you've cast a spell a thousand times. You know how it works. You know the the path it takes. And as that first magic missile leaves your hand, it. You see, it usually makes a direct path to whatever its target is. It basically ignores terrain for the most part. And you see it fly into the air and bend. And then it finds its target. The other two on the other side uh, just pop, pop, hit exactly the way they always have. All right. That's okay. Okay. That's because he spun the gun as he was Wanted. shooting it. Yeah, wanted, wanted. <laughs> oh, like a bowling ball. Yeah, he's got a curve. Yeah, a curve, curve, curve head. Head. <laughs> Like a bowling ball. Okay. Next, it's their turn. Sure. Strength. Anybody else have held turns? Nope. No. Okay. no. I so. use my turn to full capacity. All right. So these, this second group uh, dislodges off of the wall, and will three. Six. We'll go to there. The other group will back them up with two. This group will rush forward. Two, three, six. Toward John. This group will panic. <laughs> Just watching their friends on that side of the well, wall. Well, they're, yeah, they're, they're absolutely obliterated. Yeah, they're not a. They're actually in a different uh, group. <laughs> so, uh, man, scrawls way up in there like a chicken. He is a Chickens bird, can't fly. <laughs> <laughs> Two men will strike out at John. The first one misses horribly. The second one misses horribly both times. Um, it's almost like anybody that's Comical. observing them, it's almost like that their strikes lack um, commitment. Like he's, he's, they're going through the motions, but they're not sure they want to commit to that. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, these other ones move forward and they withdraw longer bladed weapons from uh, from sheaths on their belts. They have uh, it's much like a scimitar; it has a curved oh. end on it, um, and the blades are translucent and have a smoky tint to them. Um, Wait, who has the smoky tint blades? The, the, all, the, all those guys coming up on me? Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You got your mage armor. You're okay. Oh yeah, I'll be fine. No, no biggie. You got magic. I've literally got less than half the hit points you do. <laughs> That's true. That's true. We should have eaten more babies. Um, I hope you guys don't mind the building catching on fire because the building's the about to catch on fire. Uh oh. No yeah, shit. Um. I was ready to fireball. All sorts of fire spells. Yeah. yeah. Father Charles. <laughs> Father Charles reaches both of his hands out and uh, he will cast penance on John. Um, so radiant energy streaks out from his hands and encompasses uh, a circle around John. And as he does, these tendrils of light come up out of the ground and they wrap around John's wrists and these chains of light. And they, uh, John has to make a strength save and does bad actually <laughs> and zoink zoink so both of the the these golden chains that are made out of light wrap around john's wrist and they pull and pull and pull until it, he audibly <clears throat> and he's driven down to his knees and uh one chain comes out of the earth and wraps around his neck and pulls his head downward like he's uh like he's attempting to force him to pray and he uh father charles will echo and he will say john i am not your enemy I have merely done what I was told and paid to do. I have no quarrel with you. Leave, and your life is spared. Um, Why do you have so many thugs that... Yeah, 
Really? Why does it? Uh, Scraw. Speaking about thugs, I am curious it's about... Time to, it's time to go be a menace. Uh, I am curious about these individuals who are drawing blades on us. What do they look like other than vaguely humanoid and uh, shadowy? They, they look like shadowy cloaked assassins. That, that, right. that rather than being just like black cloaks against the wall, it looks like they have some sort of adaptive camouflage. Like the cloaks can sort of blend them to fit you know, chameleon style yeah, into whatever gotcha. they're... Um, the weapons you've never seen before. Anything like it. Uh, you don't need actually know what they're capable of, other than they look kind of cool. Uh, do they have uh, like any kind of iconography on them, like uh, None. just uh, just fancy cloaks yep. and like shadow darkness blades, or yep. are they? Okay. Imagine the dark saber without the glow. Gotcha. Okay. Yep. Uh, they look just like predators, uh, kinda in a church. Yep. That's what do you? What do you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> toothless, but I love it. <laughs> Uh, so, um, that's good. That one's good. I am going to spread my wings and fly down here. Uh, just have me cross over the other guy, uh, and I will land on the ground. You want to be here? Uh, one more. Well, diagonal. He wants to be right there. On the other side. In I between wanna... the two. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. I'm Sorry, going to let you up as well then. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> uh, I am going to land Max, there, I'm gonna and I'm going to. Uh, uh, I'm going to rage, and uh, the inferno of my passions will uh, burn uh, these four individuals for three fire damage. Just three. because I'm so cool. Three fire damage. Yeah, and then uh, I am going to uh, to swing recklessly because I only throw haymakers. <laughs> Defense. You're not gonna swing. Babe. What's Don't the defense? Swing. I don't know what that is. Uh, so, uh, uh, will a uh, let me find my attacks real fast. So sorry. Uh, will a 14 hit? Yes. Excellent. Barely, but it does. I will take barely. Hiya. Uh, eight points of damage. Is he still alive? He is. Son of a bitch. I will swing on his his friend next to me. I have a feeling heat's about to hit me. Somebody loves to burn me. What are you talking about? You thought uh, that you were doing the fight. <laughs> that's true. Uh, will uh, a 23 hit that guy? A uh, 23 will definitely hit him. <laughs> the 14 hit him, James. <laughs> you know, maybe he's maybe wearing different higher, armor. Right? I don't know. Uh, so I will hit him. Same dude with the red circle. Oh, but... uh, can you add two damage to that first guy yes. uh, that I hit? I forgot that uh, when you rage, you do additional damage. Uh, and so on the second guy, I will do 14 points of damage to him as I points. smash him open with a great axe as well. And both of these are magical in case they have any kind of, because it's a magic great axe. So the one that you slice down, I assume this guy... Uh, slice him down with the great axe. He crumbles to the floor in a bloody heap. Excellent. The other one is uh, cut deeply, but not dead. I got you. The name's Scraw. I don't know why I need you to know that. <laughs> yeah, I'll just look back at you and say, you look like a chicken. <laughs> Time to die. Thank you. <laughs> Time to die. The noblest of birds. <laughs> The greatest of all birds. <laughs> the highest of all protein. Uh, Scraw. Bronwyn. From the mountains of Kentucky. Yes. <laughs> I will go over to the one in front of... Oh, you're gonna... I don't know. Well, you don't know. <laughs> it's like, I'm not going over there. Right, right. Fireball's right, gonna I'll be over there. there. I'll know this. I'll go over... Help, I got nothing. Inside the church to get really Where are you going? Warm. I'll go in front of the ones he's hurt already the most, and then I'll step. There you go, I'll step. Right. I suppose I won't need to do in the entire room. Why not? Not bad. Uh, well, yeah, 15? Uh, 15 yeah. hit? Yeah, 15 yeah. will hit. Because okay. we know a 14 hits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You have a much better to hit. I'm going to start adding AC now. Plus 9, your 23 doesn't hit anymore. <laughs> Dude, those D6s. I know, I know. I'll stop rolling. Yeah. All right, all right. You do so the guy that was uh, already hurt just took uh, well, plus six, six plus uh, five, so 11 points of damage. Yeah. That'll get him there. Yeah. Way. B? More all right, we'll roll it on here. Roll right, another. So let me stab the other dude. 
Terrible. See, look, you talk smack about the computer when it lashed out. It was an 11 hit. No. I didn't Sorry. You should have tried harder. Mm. You haven't been paying attention to scrolls list or scrolls. Been teaching you how to swing the axe. I know. I know. We all can't be as great as Scar. Thank you. But, oh, you guys Finally, are somebody. Into it, right? Finally, the role play is hitting its peak. <laughs> <laughs> Vincent. All right. Well, uh, this situation seems to be managing itself. So, uh, I'm going to assist Jonathan. Okay. Uh, I'm going to walk down the middle aisle. Okay. Um, two, three. Four, five, six. Yes. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, no. No. <laughs> He's got that fat one sitting over there. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, you want to make a save? Uh, too bad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I was thinking about casting burning hands, but I mean, at this point, uh, I'm kind of torn. Uh, let's go with uh, let's go with web. Uh, web. Yeah, I'm gonna uh, take out a little bit of uh, spider web from my uh, satchel and uh, uh, throw a web and uh, envelop Jonathan and the priest and the two thugs there. But also, uh, I want to develop a little bit more of this area over here to keep them away from me. <laughs> Create a barrier. I like it. Let's see. Get my web template. Web. Um, 20 feet cube. Is that diameter or radius? That's a cube. It's a, a 20 by 20 by 20. Gotcha. Web, 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 web. I would prefer a 20 by 20 by 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah, tough titties. <laughs> Such language from an old man. That just means I'm well seasoned. Uh, 20 by 20? Like KFC chicken. <laughs> <laughs> tough. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think he's wanting it to be. <clears throat> yeah. You want to be there? Uh, drag it a little bit more toward me. And down. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> yeah, right there. Perfect. Chain him, I chain you. Hmm. Now everyone gets the chains. And uh, that'll be my turn. Okay. Because I don't have bonus action economy. <laughs> Noted. Um, Vincent after Vincent is... Trank. Hmm. Well... I'm thinking... Ranger that is. Hmm. And these guys can come over the pews. You two have obviously beat the shit out of those two guys already. That one hasn't been touched yet, I don't think. No. Has he? No, 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 no. The two that remain uh, have been He's the one you magic missile, didn't you? Yeah. The so one, he's the he's one very far against the wall. Smoking holes against us uh, in his chest. What was the range on that? Magic. Magic, it's 60 feet, I think. Yeah, 60. So those two are out of range. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can always just blast them with a cantrip. What cantrips do you have? Mm. If you slid you up two spaces, you get them. Ray yeah. of Frost. Shoot his ass with a Ray of Frost if he's still alive. Run away from him. <laughs> oh, that guy? Yeah, it slows him down. Yeah. Ray of Frost, you know, takes Ray of Frost is pretty good. Yeah. No, it's a good... Uh, Cantrips are awesome. Shoot good and deterrent. run away. Yeah, it is a good deterrent. Yeah. Yeah. Can just kite him, basically. Ray of Frost, where is it? Just make a range of touch, uh, range of touch attack, and then uh, it does D8 uh, ice damage, I believe. What does all magic hits? Like uh, no, you, no, it, you do have to roll the hit, uh, but uh, uh, what it does is it'll do D8 ice damage, and mm -hmm. then it slows him by 10 feet, so he loses 10 feet of movement. So that's why it's a good count, uh, kiting spell. So you hit him with it, and you just run away, so if D20, he survives. Yep, D20. D20. Yes, sir. 
17, 14. Uh, yeah, yeah pretty you got it. Yeah. yeah. Pretty sure that hits, yeah. It's a D8? I believe it's a D8. Because it's, uh, since it has an, an additional effect other than just damage. Five. Is it still alive, yeah, Matt? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's D8 as well. Hit the one he already hit, right? Yeah. 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 More, the one up there next to me. Hey, you're fifth level, yeah. so you should. Uh, wouldn't it go up to 2d8? Oh, yeah. I it does. It, it, it is 2d8. Okay. Roll one more. Roll yeah. another d8. d8. Fuck it. Oh, That'll do it. Yeah. You needed one more. That's it. Oh, nice. And then sub zero his ass. <laughs> yep. <laughs> then I guess just uh, move me up a little bit. A yeah. wizard that gets up into it. I like it. Good for him. Both of you. Yep. A lot more balls than when I'm playing a wizard. I'd be like, I open the door and I leave. I'll come back when I'm level 20, okay? <laughs> this is a one shot. I've got zero investment return on this. <laughs> if I die now, then at least you have burial fees covered. This is like Pokemon, right? If, as long as I see the combat, I get full experience, right? I can just leave. I mean, yeah. <laughs> You're by the window. <laughs> yeah, Matt, you want to give us a, a, a mid-session uh, level up for this uh, final fight with Tristan? <laughs> nice. <laughs> but you're just doing so well. <laughs> we'll make sure your money goes to good use. Oh, yeah. Of course. They're not going to bury you, so it's going to take the money. We'll burn you. All right. Uh -oh. I'm going to spend my money kind of making sure that I live long enough. To be in the Nothing. main campaign. <laughs> <laughs> I want to move. That's a little right harder to to you. Mm. Right here in okay. front of... No. Right him. in front of Trank. 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 I guess I'm going to have to throw Moonbeam on the one in front of me. <clears throat> so the one next to John. Now the question yeah. is, do you, yeah. do you oh, destroy okay, okay. the roof with Moonbeam? It's just I'm just light. curious. It's... Hmm. It's, 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 it's radiant collab, though. Yeah. It is radiant damage, yes. yeah. Does that mean that since we're inside a church, it's double damage? It actually increases the but potency. It does, doesn't make it more powerful, but it imposes weakness. Or, yeah, weakness. Right. Vulnerability. But does it do anything to the roof? Yes, just, vulnerability. I'm just curious. No, I, like, I, it's, it's certain, certain it's, spells like Call Lightning require you to be outside. Okay. Right? Yeah. What if you did it spells inside, like it Fireball. Building, it'll try. It'll, it'll try? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, let me, just, let me roll some damage here. Oh, wow. Is that double there one? You, go. you rolled snake eyes on D10s? <laughs> <laughs> snake eyes. Poor Nevin. <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's because guy. It's because Nevin is, is unhappy with how this is playing out. Nevin is a Nevin has person. a reserves about this whole situation. He does, but Nevin's a genuinely good dude. He is. And, it's, and he's not liking this path that John's going down. Exactly. I just don't want to see Jonathan injured. Although that man stabbed himself trying to hurt Jonathan, so I think he'll be all right. <laughs> I don't think he's got any worries. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan has plot armor. Slightly annoying, everybody. <laughs> Slightly annoying. Yeah, I get that. <coughs> the dice give it, the dice take it away. <laughs> That's the worst I've ever rolled for damage on anything in a game. Dandy. I know, I'm impressed. You don't play Legion. <laughs> More importantly, rebels. Actually, um, I lost the rebels today. These two, really? Yeah. Um, DF cannons. Those two in the really upper, nasty. in the upper corner up there mm -hmm. will uh, there will be a poof of smoke and, and they'll vanish. I don't blame them. They're like, we don't get yeah, they saw what was happening to their friends and they they threw the deuces. Yeah, they said we don't get paid enough. You for don't. This. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, there is a. Um, there is a, a loud noise as there is echoes through the chamber and as they do they reappear no nah. well mm. do they uh say hell hydra just out of curiosity <laughs> hell hydra. Hell off one head two grow back hell hydra I'm just going to say, when Captain America said that, that was pretty awesome. That's a good moment. Yeah. I enjoyed it immensely. <laughs> that was funny. Bottom of the round. It's John's turn. John makes a strength save. He gets the chains of light. And crushes it with a 19. He uh, also has to make a save for the web. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Here it comes. 
His strength also? Uh, yeah, DC 15. DC 15. Natural 20 is that. Okay. Wow. <laughs> He's straight hole. Yeah, he He's did. Fine. <laughs> so in a, a burst of, of dark light, um, the chains fall away. Um, to the ground and disintegrate. He burns through that web that you have, and you uh, you see him begin to reach outward uh, toward Father Charles. And he has to check because of sanctuary, and uh, passes. Does, Oddly, uh, he does. So, uh, Father Charles would technically be restrained until he made a strength check against him. Yeah. So would John get advantage on shooting a restraint? He guy? would, but he don't need it. But he would. <laughs> okay. Like if you get crit fish, he might get really lucky. Uh, no, nah, that one's worse. So but yes, he'll. Uh, <laughs> so yes, Father Charles, oh, sticky in the web, <laughs> and uh, yummy. John reaches out with his left hand in the same fashion that he. Uh, just took that man's skin off his bones earlier and everybody sees that black energy begin to tendralize through the air uh, but that's his turn this turn next round the one guy down here that just refuses to die next to Scraw <laughs> he ain't afraid of no chicken <laughs> yet he will pull the same maneuver as the other ones so Mm -hmm. Disappear from view. We call that the some run. He's afraid. What? Buy me. What is the? Oh. Uh, oh. Oh God. Did I bring them back with me? <laughs> there is a once again. There is that doom uh, sound and. Out of the floor, all of these things seem to climb out of nothingness. Hmm. What kind of church is this? Nothing. <laughs> Nobody ever said it was a good church, I guess. What is the church made out of? Just uh, a bunch of you? bones and, you, you know. Evil, evil. Hey, okay. Is I, the words Orcus written I anywhere? Quick, just burn the whole bitch, yeah. Uh, can I burn the roof? I'm about to bring some lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Neffin's big mad about his moonbeam. <laughs> yeah, burn burn something over here because I'm gonna know. drop lightning right there. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Um, uh, is there any way I could do like an insight to see if these are illusions or if they're? Uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Non phantasma. Like they're tangible. You can't on your turn. Uh, I don't want to make a whole thing, though. Like, <laughs> I, I want to use an action. I don't want to use an action. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody you, haste me. So then I you're going to have to use the scientific method. You're going to have to fuck around and find out. Yeah. <laughs> well, there's going to be a whole lot of fucking around, and there's going to be a certain amount of finding out. Father Charles will make a strength save against your web. And roll a five. That's fine. Hey, he can stay. <laughs> That is unfortunate for him. Mm. It's very unfortunate. Because the webs are flammable. So, I need Vincent. Yes. Neffin. Yes. And Trank. And also, um, um. Bronwyn. That's okay. it. I need all of you to make dexterity saves. I'm very dexterous. Dexterity saves? Yep. Natural sprinters dwarves are. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. <laughs> oh, you're so lucky to go to fourteen. Fourteen. Two. I got a two. Oh so no. She meant to say it was. Huh? Dirty <laughs> twenty. Dirty twenty. All right. If you roll over fifteen, you passed. Oh no. <laughs> no, no just Spitz it, Bronwyn. Just wouldn't. You're like, look at my web. It's so sticky, and you weren't paying quite quite the attention. Um, from just beyond the altar up here. Oh shit. Boop. Uh, uh, dun, dun. <laughs> yep. To uh, there's actually a barrage. Like it's uh, about three or four arrows each of uh, these black, smoky shadow arrows, and they <laughs> and they fly through the air, and they uh, Trank and Nevin are fast enough to hit the deck. Um, they but these other ones are going to clip you guys. Nah. Rude. So Vincent's going to take nine points of damage. That's that's a lot. <laughs> And then Bronwyn will take five points of damage. 
It's because you have armor. And I need both of you to make constitution saves. Oh no! Is it poison? Could be. I am. What Immune am I to poison because Paladin. I yeah. know. So. Well, uh, she's resisting uh, poison because she's uh, a, a dwarf. dwarf. Yeah. I'm willing to play it safe and use that 17. <laughs> okay. And immune to disease. Immune to disease. Yeah. Advantage. Is it poison or is it? It's poison. Okay, so you do have advantage. advantage. Oh, I she see. got it. She's Thank good. <laughs> well, it's calm too, so I'm going to knock it out. Well, you yeah. traded in your 17? Okay, so both of you pass. <laughs> uh, I didn't think a 12 would do it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, mm. yes, yeah, so both of you take solid hits from the arrows, and both and, uh, they're moving at such a high rate of speed that they actually pass through you fast enough to where they don't poison you. Pass through? Yes, and then you look down, and there's actually no hole. Like they pass through your body and leave no mark. So it's shadow, shadow arrow. Uh, but you definitely mm. felt it went into your flesh and out the other side and you swear that you had a hole in your lung, but now you don't. Hmm. Um, as the arrows doo -doo 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 against the back door that whiz over the heads of Trank and um, Neffin, uh, they immediately and they're gone. Next. Scraw! I will... Uh, spin my axe around me to yeah. generate a little bit of space between me and my mm -hmm. multiple attackers. Sounds good. You can fly. And then uh, I'm going to say, finally, you okay. take me seriously. You gonna, so you're going to fly up? No, I'm going to fucking murder these dudes. <laughs> okay. I'm exactly where I want to be. Yeah, well, I got to know. When you're a barbarian, you are surrounded. So using the compass, tell me which ones you hit. <laughs> Using right. the compass. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to uh, uh, All of them. strike the one between <laughs> me and Bronwyn. Uh, my. Uh, Your lovely associate. Uh, assistant, Bronwyn. Assistant. <laughs> Magic show. Uh, so I will swing with a 23 to hit. A 23. All right. So you only have to roll damage. Poof. Gone. He's there dead. are illusions. And I'm fucking killing them. <laughs> like a champion. I'll swing on uh, the uh, one here. Which way? Uh, uh, west, north. Northwest. Northwest. Okay. Uh, for a... Uh, uh, for a nine. No, nine. I'm sorry. For a ten to hit. So you will, the great axe will whiz by that one. Okay. He threw my aim off. I'll get you for that. Yeah, you may certainly try. <laughs> Next turn, I throw my axe at the wizard. <laughs> Shield. <laughs> I might catch that with my face. Uh, Bronwyn. Oh. Suddenly, oh. suddenly, Scraw is under siege by a mob of shadowy figures. Now, the guy that I hit, did he just poof or did he like scream and get cut in half? No, nah, he's poofed. What do you think it's like doing? a Naruto shadow clone. Shadow clone jutsu. Yeah. So maybe, Probably they do the sexy jutsu. Maybe we <laughs> yeah, yeah. need to kill the... Hidden finger ninjutsu guy. Okay. I hear you sure. whispering over there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm whispering. I might have actually found a uh, use for something. Controlling all of them. A loop, if you will. Oh, shit. I can't get into he's... this stupid web, though, because he's all webbed up. He's the head priest, and they're all the altar boy That's souls. What I'm wondering about, right? <laughs> <laughs> altar boy souls. <laughs> He's yeah. corrupted over the years. You know, so we need to set them free by killing him. It makes sense yeah. in a See? in a really fucked up way. Righteous yeah, or fucked really up, either way. Yeah, so, how very Catholic of them. Yes. <laughs> Is, uh, <laughs> can a fire? If I shoot my crossbow at the I cast rosary. Yeah. Like, so can, can it go through the web or no? The web just like, kind of yeah. uh, the yeah. web. The web like sits on the ground. It's not like a full on. What is a cube, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's it's a, cube. a cube. Yeah, you should, can objects pass through it? Can arrows? Fireballs, things pass arrows. Uh, yeah, that means. Uh, if you want to make a rage attack when you have people in your threatening squares, I'm just saying there's smoke. I'm saying if we hit. So you're just gonna not believe? So you're gonna orc it? They're not really <laughs> I, there. I choose to disbelieve. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna orc it. He's the biggest warbot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the biggest warbot. 
start a web. My thought was that if we kill Let's the conjure uh, uh, a mass of here. thick, sticky webbing on a 20 so? foot cube. Uh, so? uh, Do it. The web is difficult thing. terrain and lightly obscures the area. Uh, uh, okay, so there you go. It, it, it offers uh, light obscurity. Yeah. Oh, I, I would say you can, but you're at minus five. Yeah, what, I'll help scrawl. You know, Jill, think you didn't need it. Why well, though? I'm just leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um. You've, you've seen Scrawl work yeah. his way out of situations I like mean, this I mean, I have. This is true. Did you see the punch I took? Oh. Um, all right, I'm going to hit. The dude. dude was like 50 feet <laughs> tall. He took me. And he lived. Me. And he lived. Oh, no, it doesn't it's really specify fun. about items passing through. But That's I'd, okay. I would say obscurity would, yeah. would yeah. offer some sort yeah, of... Yeah, that would uh, make sense. 14 hit, right? It does say thick yeah. and sticky. Yeah. Not that one. <laughs> You're all like me. Kind of okay. So which, and then which one did you hit? The one nearest the door, so the one okay. south. No, southeast. Northeast. Northeast. Southeast. Northeast. Yeah. northeast to me, southeast to her. Okay. Oh, he's Yeah. He's not real. You made one of the not reals not real. They're just gonna no one's real. Fly. We're all living in the matrix. <laughs> Probably true. It's it. Oh, yeah, so. Um, Unless you'd like to move. Would you like to move? Uh. Okay. No. Uh, so I'll take a little bit of bath water and some <laughs> sulfur, and uh, we're going to ignite this fucking candle. <laughs> yeah, let's light this candle. Um, <laughs> so, uh, light this bitch. Since uh, yeah, we're, we're going to catch everything, sorry, Jonathan, at least he's out of the web, so it won't hurt as much. Um, the ones in the web, the web is flammable. And we'll take an additional 2d4 for the web igniting on them. So we'll go ahead and... Strategery. That's going to be an extra 7 points of damage for the webs. <laughs> okay, so... It's just for the webs. Do those in the web suffer disadvantage on their dexterity save? Yeah, because they're, they're restrained. restrained. So... Nice. Five, uh, 11. Don't, don't get too happy, my guy. Uh, <laughs> 18. Uh, come on now. Uh, 22. So, uh, 22 points on top of the 7. Yeah. Uh, everyone 29. else gets the 22, the 29 to the ones in the web. So, as you go through the the typical incantations and things you need to cast Fireball, as you as you would, um, the as soon as the spark leaves your hand, mm -hmm. as it typically does, you see it and it vanishes. And there's there's a thum sound as this white sort of barrier encases the room, and Father Charles will say, "You dare not speak flames in my house." Uh, I'll try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, yeah. It's a. It is. It is a. It is a barrier that is particularly. Um, it is set up to. Protect it, you it, from burning until they're Yeah, crying. you can't burn it. And it's uh it's geared specifically toward fire and evocations. Oh, but a church that John can't burn down. That place oh, sucks. It's gonna make him mad. <laughs> Some work, but hey, very, very you know it's a problem with fireballs. You know how you deal with that? Make them obsolete. Cool. <laughs> well, you guys enjoy this encounter. <laughs> Trank. Mm. Well, I was gonna try to help burn the place down, but <laughs> Just kill the priest. <laughs> if you've got another magic That's missile, right, dude, him. <laughs> you could probably pop a lot of shadow clones right now. Which ones you think they're on you? Yeah, because since they have like one hit point because they're clones, you could probably pop pop a bunch of them. Or interestingly enough, since it goes unerringly, if it's like you know Naruto, they would hit the real one, and it would just ignore the shadow clones. So which ones do I aim at? You don't. Well, you don't aim it. It's part of the magic of it. You just are basically saying, "It's unerringly magic," and it shoots off to hit the. Yeah. the you target. point it in a general direction to kind of where you want it to go, and it goes. Yeah. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Does it, can this hurt any of you guys? No, no. because okay. we're you know you hit part exactly of your, what you target. Yeah. Yep. You don't even have no roll. Roll. You just roll yeah. damage. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one awesome. d four for each missile you cast. Imagine flamers, but with auto. <laughs> There you Kinda. go. Four. There's a five. No, five. Yeah. Yeah, because it's a D four plus one. Three. Three. 
three. Three. Nine, ten, eleven. Eleven points. Eleven points total. Do we see yes. it strike so one of them? The magic, the magic missile uh, flies through the air and actually uh, hits the first one, penetrates it, but doesn't detonate. Moves through it. Moves to the second one. Moves to the third one and strikes the final target. Drives him back a square and eliminates him completely. Okay, it's good job. And the two cool. and then the two clones vanish into the floor. All right, thank you for the suggestion. I was working my way around to him. I still only count as one. Drake, <laughs> <laughs> Nevin. I think Enjoy my quarter snapping. Yeah, to one. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, you have to concentrate on the web? Uh, no. No, no it's not concentration. Okay. If I cast this, I can get both of them, him, 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 and him. Because it's a lot. I'm casting Windwall. Oh, okay. So it would be... Is yeah. your moonbeam go away? Mm-hmm. I don't think you can. Yeah, the moonbeam would go away. It would. Oh, it did go away? Well, no, no, it, it will if I do this. Yeah, this oh, yeah. oh, yeah. 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 All right. So you want to go to the wind wall where? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, nine, ten. I can hit him, 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 big guy, and both them. It's a segment. Wind wall. I don't have that one. The wall of wind? Oh, oh it is concentration. Excuse me. So uh, I. Probably need to make a concentration check. Well, the water, water is like Tasmanian devil's joining the fight. Wall of stone. <laughs> wall of sand. Wall yeah. of light. Huh. Can't believe I don't have wall of wind. Anyway, it's, I'll take your word for it. It's 50 feet long, 15 feet high, foot thick, and I can shape it in any way I choose as long as it makes one continuous path along the ground. Nice. Yeah. There's a snake away. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it'll be five of the little guys and the main priest. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Yeah, I, I will need to make a concentration check for the lab, actually. Okay. So, uh, so that's going to be 3d8 blood. I don't know if the concentration. It's I've, these, I've made if, the damage, if the damage it's dealt is over 10. Then it's uh, if the damage deals over ten, the DC is the damage. Yeah. Is the DC if the damage taken is less than ten, it's half the damage plus ten. But half. Yeah. So half. if you took twenty points of damage, your DC would be ten, or your DC is ten. But if you took thirty points of damage, your DC would be fifteen. Okay. So okay. You took so nine, right? You yeah, take, took nine. Took so nine. your DC is ten. Okay. Your DC is ten. Because it's whichever well, I, one. I, I made it ten. All right. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, cool. So let's yeah. see how much damage they're taking. Okay. A little better that time. So that's 13, 20. 20. Bludgeoning damage. Oh, fuck. Dick faces. <laughs> Dick that's, faces. That's my payback for the damn moonbeam. Damn, is it, uh, do they take dexterity saves or anything against that bullshit? It is. Uh, when the wind wall saves. appears, each creature within its area must make a strength saving throw. Oh, strength. Creature, that's what goons are known for. Yes. Hmm. You take 3d8 on a failed save, or half as much on the successful. Okay. Pass. Uh, fail. 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 The first two pass, and the rest fail. So, Including big man? Yeah, the priest passed with disadvantage for being webbed. He still got it. <clears throat> so, these four. How much damage was it total? 20. 22. It's dead, dead, oh, dead, is it 23? Dead. Yeah, yeah, it's 23. They just pop and smoke. Um, yeah, and he'll die too. That. Yep, that's all he had left. It took some damage. Okay. So, yes, yeah, you strike Father Charles and you see oh, his head, you know, strike to one side. He's already covered in web and almost being strangled by shadow. He's not having a good day. No. Mm-hmm. No. Nah. Yeah, you just throw him in the wind tunnel. All right. Next is. Are you? Um, oh, they're dead. 
It's the bottom of the turn is John. <laughs> John will strike Father Charles. He gets advantage because he's restrained. Not gonna go good for him. That's a piss poor roll though, John, with seven points of damage on three dice. Um, <clears throat> it was not good. So the uh, the tendrils. Uh, oh shit! He's gotta make a check for sanctuary before he can do anything. He fails that, so no, John cannot penetrate the shield this turn. That's what that's for, though. Is that <clears throat> he just lashes out to the guy next to him? <clears throat> that's probably he's got one more action, so yeah. He'll lash. Oh my god, that dude's super fucked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Is there really any point? He does today? much better against him. That dude's gonna take forty-one. <laughs> oh my god! Damn. Yeah, he's crazy. He did. He did really bad. <laughs> Is that a so, pop? Is, do we see a pop? He, uh, you know, he reaches for Father Charles, and he's that bright, radiant shield. You know, sanctuary. And you see him. And he takes his, grabs this guy by just his front of his face, like full on Michael Jordan basketball palms, the front of this guy's face, and everybody hears him. And it's. And it just the back of his skull just blows against the wall. Brain matter. So he and, was a real thing. He wasn't a shadow. Yeah, he's he's dead. Well, well, he's real. Dead. Dead. <laughs> things that we're fighting. Like the term of grease fun. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> he's uh, that's really that's right. John's turn. Next round, top of the turn. The two guys at the top. Mm. So they're gonna. Oof. Reinforcements. Yeah. I didn't forget about them. I've been staring at them. I didn't. I just didn't get to blow them up. <laughs> That's yeah. gonna be really funny. Oh shit. See, there's gotta be a spell or something. Just knock them out. Oh god, kill the father. <laughs> See, that's what I was saying. That's their turn. That sucks though, because their primary action is to do the multi the multiplying thing. So they can't attack the same turn and multiply. But I guess that'd make it fair, because that'd be dumb if they yeah. could. <clears throat> Spawn and then immediately uh, swing. <laughs> Yeah, because oh, yeah. each one of them acts independently. So even though they're not real, they act real. Yeah. And you still take full damage from them as though they were real. Nice. Dude. <clears throat> so Father Charles, it's his turn. In the matrix your mind makes it real. Yep. And uh, so Father Charles um, will make a strength save against the web. Mm -hmm. He gets a 14. What's he do? 15. Damn it. Uh. <clears throat> I hate to use a token for him. Throw that dice away. <laughs> use the Benny. No. Have it. But it's so early. It is very early. Uh, so, Legendary. yeah. You definitely want to do it on a mook. Uh, no, I take one inspiration token for every one I give. Hmm. So, I gave each one of them one, so I have two. So, all the Charles will spend his turn struggling against the web. That's all he can do. Um, That is such an irritating <laughs> spell. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the archers. All right, so, Vincent. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm taking that web, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, one archer will, will shoot down at Vincent. The other archer will shoot at Scraw. Um, that's going to be a little difficult to do. Sure. Wind wall is in the way. The yeah. wind wall oh, is in damn. The way. Okay. <laughs> wind wall went like this. It's literally right there. So the minute they shoot, it just hits the ceiling. How tall is it? 15 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. 15 feet. It's 25 foot high ceiling. Bank shot. <laughs> 15 feet when Scrum asked. I thought it was 25. You said 15. Okay, I'm sorry. I stayed corrected. I thought I said 25. No, 15. Ah, oh, damn. So it's higher than the wall. The shit. Okay, so we could, but I mean, I could wanted that shit around the corner. Yeah, you can certainly uh, try. Well, or we could, you know, move. That works too. Um, so one, two, three. Ooh, get closer. The other uh, good thing about Six. the wind wall. Yes, so they'll move up there as a pair. Then they will shoot down at Vincent and Scrawl. So they're going to shoot through the uh, 
The web? Yep, yeah, they will. Cube of web. I just want you to know I'm lightly obscured. You lightly. <laughs> We are on the uh, other Oh my god, so they roll the first one rolls a five minus five for the web is zero. <laughs> I think that hit, hits a mook instead. <laughs> and it just gets stuck in the web and slowly falls to the ground. Did he shoot himself in the foot? I'm just wondering. I... Uh, if he had critted or you know rolled a natural one, like this guy did. Yeah. <laughs> he shoots the uh shoots the web. The web, you know, blah, 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 eats the arrow. The arrow comes out the other side, catches in the wind wall, flings around off the side of the root, man. Hits him right in the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Magic bullet for seven points of damage. You bastards. <laughs> My archers had a bad run. <laughs> all right, Scraw. Well, that didn't hit me at all, just so you know. Yeah. Uh, I will uh, uh, attack the one directly north, the one between me and my assistant. Okay. <laughs> Now we'll throw haymakers now. Now that I'm not the one being surrounded. They just gotta fight to get in there. Uh, 25. Hits him. Pop. <laughs> so it's like, do I roll? Dramatic, pause. Dr pause for effect. I just want you to see how much damage you would have done. Uh, so now I will swing on the one northeast to me. Okay. Will a 12 hit? Will not. Dude. Makes me sad. <laughs> sad thing of barbarians. <laughs> when your text don't hit, it's sad barbarian time. Makes me sad. Oh, well. Bronwyn, you're oh. surrounded. Yeah. Well, not quite as surrounded. You're welcome. I will hit the one west right in front of me. Okay. To the west. To the west. To the, west. To the window. For the walls, all these yeah, you hit. Oh, 21 hit. 21 hits him. Roll damage. Do it. Show us this beautiful bean footage. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So 15 points of damage. Oh, murdered as the sword passes into it. You sword, right? You sword? Yeah. yeah. Great sword. sword. Great sword. The sword passes through it, and everybody sees the <laughs> as the Down. black, black guts and uh, blood flap. Bleep, and then all of the rest of them bleep out of existence. Oh, he was the main dude. He was. You got lucky. You did it. Oh, thank then, you. Um, I'll move on. How far you want to go? Bless you. Thank you. Yep. It's two for two. Bless you. Thank you. Um. Encounter spell. Yeah. <laughs> I still have. Reach for a window. I still have uh, <laughs> yeah. an action left, so I'm going I'm to use my bow and arrow to shoot the bow and arrow dude. Sure. So if you move me, you that technically way. can't do that. Love action. Why can't I do that? Because your attack action was actually already done. You just get to make two swings when uh, you do it. I thought I got two action. No. Are you sure? You don't. Yes. Yeah. So you're, you're, you're an attack. Your one attack action makes you swing twice. Darling. Oh, yeah. Well. I'll still move up. So. Get closer. Go. I'll protect the squishy people. You can put me next to the squishy guy. You want to be next to Vincent? The squishy guy. <laughs> I'm just fine, thank you. <laughs> it's my major armor. <laughs> yeah. But that would be my turn. Wait, do you have to concentrate on that too? No, that one's not concentration. Yeah, that Are you be, sure? That, I'm kidding. That one would be dumb to be concentration. Be like, oh, I got hit. Fuck. I guess I don't have uh, increased AC. <laughs> 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 Fuck. <laughs> All right. So, moving on. Vincent, it's your turn. Uh, all right. I would like to cast suggestion on one of the archers. Okay. Russell, your friend for their bow. <laughs> this is charisma. Is it charisma? Save? It's a wisdom save. The wisdom save. <laughs> oh, do bad. <laughs> do bad. I ask you, you shall receive it too. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Does he do it now or on his turn? Does he have to do it on his turn? Uh, that's a good It's question. his turn. It's on his turn? Yeah. Okay. okay. And at the end of his turn, right. he can make another... Uh... No, actually, on suggestion, it's a one and done. So it's a one turn control. Right. I thought suggestion. it was... Yeah, I think I'd get to maintain it. Although I might drop web nah, because of that. I think, uh, I think suggestion's just a uh, one and done. But I could be wrong. Suggestion. Um... Duration up to eight hours. 
Two. Yeah. Isn't the level one spell or is it? Two. Oh, it's the two one. Okay. What's the level one version? Where you, you can make them pr prone. You can make them. I thought person. that was. Oh, that's command. command. Yeah. Now I'm using the big boy spell. The thick yeah, boy. I'm spell. sorry. I apologize. You're fine. Uh, let's see what exactly we got going on with this. Because that's really I did not have the page open. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Almost there. We're in the SP. All right. Uh, suggestion. All right. So it is concentration. I will drop well yeah, in exchange for this. Okay. Um. So, so I, would, gone. I yep. suggest uh, a course of activity uh, limited to a sentence or two. I may magically influence the creature, uh, and they can't be charmed or immune. There are creatures that can't be charmed or immune to this effect. Uh, I'd, I'd imagine that they would be able to be charmed. Um, I can't make it hurt itself deliberately, but what I can do is, uh, for the next eight hours, as long as it continues to fail save, so uh, make it do whatever I please. So I would like to make him wrestle his friend for his bow. <laughs> and um, he will. Make him wrestle for his butt. What if this will work? Hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. And on his turn, he will. Mm -hmm. All right. So, contested <laughs> strength checks. <sighs> Trank. All right. So the web's going. The wall of the wall the of wind is still there. Still there. Mm -hmm. Shooting fire at him is not really going to work anyway, right? Is that shield? Yeah. Against the old guy? Mm -hmm. The priest? Yeah, we locked yeah. out on the uh, no fire. He's rather fireproof, apparently. Couldn't, couldn't use magic on the last boss fight, and now I can't use fire in the church. What is it next? You can't use the fire in the church anywhere. You went against <laughs> those guys? Well, don't worry about them because you did the. I don't know. I mean, dust it. I tried to use a fireball and, and it, it just pooped went, out. <laughs> Do you have uh but what, you attacked him with it right no I, didn't, I haven't hit anyone with fire why well, so you try to burn the roof with it i was trying to blow up that whole like that ass here. half of the church yeah it's basically yeah, basically yeah that's basically what it looks like it's squigglies squigglies it says wind wall segment i guess it's like that because it wants you to draw a line with right it. <laughs> Okay. What you doing, Trank? Um, looking for something real quick. Pondering. Sniffing your own dick. Yes. You should do a wrestling move. Just run up to him, jump kick him into your wind wall. Yes. I like it. Especially for a wizard. <laughs> uh -huh. no. Graw is willing to throw you at it like a baseball I could throw go, him into it I could shape shift into a crocodile and run up and bite him <laughs> it'd be awesome why, why, why do we go with the crocodile there's other options <laughs> I can go up to the side of the yeah. I choose the alligator the crocodile alligator. is the, <laughs> the dinosaur that won I've got a it's a one half challenge rating right so whatever a one half challenge rating well, is we already uh, discovered that you could shape shift into a uh -huh. black bear a whole yes. Okay. I can't think of anything else right Black now. Black bear, do reef yeah. shark. Can't do that'll be though. back in season. Not yet. Not yet. A reef shark. You can be the crocodile. Is way that. cooler than <laughs> bear. You do what you do. You. If there you want to be a crocodile? Feet. You be a crocodile. See, no. I'm thinking about changing. Animal Don't let Max Croc shame you. I will shame you for wearing Crocs. I'm thinking about. My options are either turn into a bear, run up and try and attack the cleric, Please. or I might be able to entangle him. Okay. That's cool. I mean, I, I just dropped my uh, binding on him, so him yeah, you, you I go might for be it. able to throw entangle on him. Okay. If I do, it's going to knock down the wind wall. Uh, well, I mean, I'm mm -hmm. taking care of the archers, so. As long as nothing new arrives, he should be fine. Hmm. 
if I throw this down, he's got to make a strength saving throw or he's restrained by the plants. Okay. And since it's a cleric, I'm not figuring that his strength is very high. Prepare to be surprised. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, okay. No man's he's got 25 plus. strength. Does he? Okay. It's mm -hmm. a plus zero. <laughs> He pulls off the robes and he's ripped like Arnold. He is. He's Mr. He's Master Rogers. Father. Um, <laughs> Housekeeper Willie. <laughs> yes. Um, the whole time he's been like, I'm not your enemy. That's always scary when they're just like, I'm not actually fighting you. Then it's going to be the... Uh, this I think like I want to cast... Guy from Bleach. I like, think I want to cast oh, Entangle. I don't know of those muscles. Uh, the Braced. <laughs> Entangle. All right. So you're gonna drop your wind wall? Yes. That's like I'm so tired of putting things on to remove them to put them back on. It's, it's easy. It's easy for me. <laughs> what is the width of it? It is a twenty foot square. Oh, another so twenty easy. foot box. That's it right there. Hmm. You put it right on top of it. Boom. That might not so be the worst of, idea. Yon's yeah. a little out of his mind at the moment. No, 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 pretty, uh, don't worry about John. Pretty sure he's possessed. Uh, but, you know, hey, anyway. Um, Jonathan made a deal with the demon. He made a deal with the uh, debt collector. And, uh, Everybody's making deals. Yeah. yeah. There's something I should say, too, about just the world as a whole. Uh, nobody's ever seen demons or a god. So as far as you're concerned, they just ideas. Hmm. It's like the world we live in, in that you know there there may be a god for all we know, but nobody's ever proved it. Same way with demons. I mean, there's a lot of things that you know, point to their existence that nobody's ever had a encounter with one and been able to prove it. Hashtag worship Lord Zeno. <laughs> <laughs> so against your entangle, what does he roll? Is it dexterity or strength? Strength. Strength. Come on, Master Roshi's 15. Damn. The, the, That'll do it. it. That was 16 minus 1. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you my, got as much strength as I do. 14. Oh, man, I barely got over it. <laughs> John, on the other hand, he has good strength in watching these shit. Uh, 12 plus 2, 14. That... That still same. breaks it. Yeah, yep. that'll break yep. it. So the, the vines <laughs> burst up out of the ground, out of the flower bed, and wrap around uh, Father Charles and John, and they both manage to, you know, and shake them away. Uh, but as long as they're in it, they'll continue to make checks. I think they do another one at the start of their turn, don't they? Yeah, I believe so. Uh, Maybe you should, you I, start, think, I think technically you're supposed plants. to roll at the start of their turn. But I thought it was. It, say, it says when the spell ends, the conjured plants rolled away and its concentration up to a minute. But when do they check? Um. The creature in the area when you cast the spell must succeed on a oh, saving okay. or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. Until the spell ends. Okay. So, so is it at so the, also it just, say like at the it, beginning of their turns? It is. They it, again, it, or do they check again? They're in the, the second paragraph. Right? So, a uh, creature in the restrained. area when you cast the spell must succeed on a strength saving throw or be restrained by the entangling plants until the spell ends. So, yeah, it's going to be a check for every turn. As yeah. Long as they're in it. Beginning yep. the turn or after? At the end of their turn? It'd be uh, the beginning. It looks like the beginning. Okay. I'm good. Because they're standing in it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the sense. Yeah. Okay. And they'll have to beat a 14 to be able to. Now, is it a cube or is it only on the ground? It's on the ground. Okay. All right. It's coming up out of the ground and latching onto whatever's there. Top of the so turn. So you've got to move to get out of it. I thought it might be an interesting idea. I didn't know. No, I'm, I wasn't attacking cool. her. I didn't. It would be really. I just cool. wanted to know because I can fly. It would be really cool if the room it matters to wasn't it matters fireproof. To because if the room wasn't fireproof, the plants come up and then he throws the fireball and now you can't move and yeah. It's a, a wombo combo. That's the whole point of wombo. Yeah. Whole point of combo, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> so, um, Paula Charles free actually gets to a turn to do things this time. So the start his turn, he has to check in mm -hmm. for entangling web. Or a beer And oh, that's 11. <laughs> He's, restrained. No. He's restrained again. <laughs> Evil dead moment. 
<laughs> and he has to spend his action to break the restrain. Uh, yes, he can. But that'll eat his whole turn. One. Oh, no. <laughs> Stumble and fall? Yeah, he's just... You know, he's wrapped up side as could be. Um, the see. devil's snare doesn't like light. This is true. The archer will wrestle one against the other. Yes. Try to fight to get his bow. <laughs> so contested string checks. So the assailant has a 16. The defender rolls a 7. <laughs> so yes, he will knock his friend out and take his bow. All right. Uh, um, toss the bows into the entanglement. <laughs> <laughs> he's like dude what are you doing <laughs> oh, my, <favorite> boat. <laughs> like, my mom made that for me it's just been like a boat to me <laughs> that's their turn scraw <laughs> <laughs> nothing like disarming people with their own people uh, so just uh, fly me over here and I will uh Chuck a javelin at uh, uh, the guy who uh, just uh, successfully the, the, uh, uh, threw the, the assailant or the defender. Uh, the uh, do the defender. Yeah, do the defender because yeah, yeah, do, do yeah. you'll break my suggestion. On the <laughs> yeah. Don't break my shit. He says. Broken. As soon as he completes the task, it's over. No, it lasts for eight hours. I can yeah. command him to do more stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I'll throw <laughs> any, uh, That's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I'll throw it at the, uh, the defender. Okay. It's level two. Right, level two? Even a level two, that's pretty wild. Yeah. Uh, I've got whole person. Alrighty, so throwing a javelin. Uh, yeah, it does work. Uh, so will a 14 hit the archer? Yes. Okay. That's a little bit. And... Ah. Five plus the strength will be so eight. Oh, for no, the first that is it. Okay. And four for the second one. So 12 points of double javelin. And he is eliminated. Oh, no. Only had 10 hits. He's dead. He's he, dead. He's dead, Jim. And that is my turn. So the suggestion is a one shot. Yeah. Yeah. I, it's I thought it was. Okay. I, I thought that I might be able to continue to manipulate it. It's my suggestion. Mass suggestion lets you. Well, that's going to be multiple targets. It's, it's like suggestion, but it's an area of effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an area. Yeah. yeah. You can make everybody immediately break out into dance, or make a mob. Yeah, mob calm dance. the fuck down. Nobody likes that. <clears throat> Next, mob dance. Mob dance. Bronwyn. Uh, if you'll move me up. Where would you like to go? Next to James or Scraw. And then. Uh... No, I guess just, can I go all the way up to the guy? I guess I'll stab him. I was going to try one, to cross two, three, three, four, four, five, six. You are at your maximum and still being able to make an attack. No, oh, I guess I'll do it my... I don't have to do I'll do a crossbow. Pick up the archer and throw him at the priest. Hit like, a motherfucker with another like, mother. hit the priest? <laughs> yeah. Ain't nothing like it. Uh, 15 to hit. 15 to hit. Okay. Heavily hits. Yeah. I'm hitting the other crossbow. Crossbow. Well, it's... Oh, it's 1d10. Yeah. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. Are you smiting with your crossbow? Yeah. <laughs> At least you can't do that. Yeah, I didn't say it, though. That's... Wait a minute. Good. Paladins oh. can smite on ranged weapons? Yeah. 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 This is when an attack yeah. is made. You put it into one ammunition, basically. Use but, a yeah. spell slot. Yeah. You getting ideas for a range paladin? No. <laughs> Very <laughs> taking notes. Lots of nukes. <laughs> Thank you, Bronwyn. Yeah, huh? No, that's How sucks. much? It's okay. Three. Three. Oh, no. Okay, yeah. Really? Again, no? Not enough to kill him. Oh. But it'll maim him. He'd be maimed. Do that's I one do, idea to go for the kneecaps. Do I get to do it again? Because it's one thing. Well, you, you can start cranking it. it. Yep. Uh -huh. it's, got a, it's got reload on it. Lame. <laughs> <laughs> You're better off dropping it to the floor and hitting him in the face after this. Yeah. <clears throat> Next, Vincent. Uh, okay. uh, I will try to firebolt the priests again. And just to see if this one peters out as well. Okay. 
that's a what? <laughs> <laughs> so you, you go uh, and you cast firebolt and it's in your robes on fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it for my turn. All right, Trank. I'll try to fireball him. All right, roll hit. You're gonna fireball him or bolt him? Bolt uh, him or ball? Fireball. Uh, ball? <laughs> that's, that's, huge. that's a big AOE. Oh, never mind. I won't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no. that's a, Wait a minute. It's a, Here, a no, ball. no, that's a big. <laughs> it's a, that's, that's yeah, a, never mind. That's, that's a 40 that's foot a, wide. Yeah, yeah okay. over there, die. That's to make the room go boom. <laughs> yeah, you could do that. Uh, hold on. We might need that for the next one. Mm. Hey kids! Hey. I guess uh, move me up. Where you wanna get? Right next to him. Hey, next next to Vincent. Man. You boys better behave. Oh. Keep it down. Yeah. Say what? I'm sorry. Just move me up next to Vincent. Yeah. Hmm. That it? How many magic missiles do you get per turn? It's a level one spell. So yeah. However many slots you have. You've got four slots. But you can also use your meta magic to generate a few more spell slots as well. So you can cast it probably about five, six times at least. In a day. So I've yeah. done it three times? Yeah. You've only done it twice, I thought. Twice so far, I think. Once. Yeah. And then twice, and then, yeah. Okay. Yeah, she killed the uh, the other one. Yeah, twice. Yeah, so you've got several more casts. Mm. It's also the first encounter of the day. True. It's the evening. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care about no day or night. We can squeeze a little nappy nap in after we're that. Getting, we're getting to the prime hunting time. Let me fire one at him. Okay. And two at the priest. Okay. Him first. Sure. Pew. High five. five. Dead. There you are. <laughs> And splitting fire right through the forehead. Three. Three? Three. Nah. Three. 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 Well, oh my god, Will. Fucking slot here. There you go. That's what it's for. Four. Oh. Add one, right? Yeah. yeah. Five. Five. Four. Four to. Oh, four. So do seven more. One shenanigan falcon when it goes to hit the old bastard. <laughs> hit him, yes. <laughs> um. No, they they connect solid. Doo -doo. You know, he's he's wrapped up in the vines. You can see him take chunks of his shoulder up. Oh, good. Oh, cool. <clears throat> Trank, Neffin. Right. Okay. That's how we do it. Internet. We Here's the question. Pee. It's night time. Priest. Is he immune to radiant damage? Probably not. Probably not immune. I mean, possibly resistant. But... That's what I'm wondering about because if I, if I throw Moonbeam down on him, I don't even know if it's going to hurt him. There are other ways that you can hurt him. Yeah, I could throw a, the, another wind wall on his head. <laughs> the only other option was call lightning. I'm inside a building. I can't do it. Call lightning. <laughs> Remove the building from the equation. What building? <laughs> School. <laughs> sure, lately. If I call. Call lightning. Am I rolling against the. HP of the building? <laughs> well, all right. So it would. It'll depend on. Like, he has a lot to do with it. So his state. Uh, I can't tell you. But his. Uh, he protects it, so with him restraint, there's not a whole lot for him to be able to do to protect. So yeah, it would crash through the ceiling. Yo, and the hurt problems. Yeah. yeah, the other problem is that it's huge. Then again, if I can pull off dispel magic, I might be able to break sanctuary. Hmm. Well, did the magic missile do? Say what? Did the magic missile break sanctuary? Uh, magic missile doesn't break sanctuary. Does it uh, cause a concentration check on? I don't know. Oh, it does cause a concentration check. You're right. I'm not sure. Yeah, you're absolutely right. And he passes. He's okay. But yeah, yeah. Magic missile is one of the few things that you can fire against the target with sanctuary, and 
they, you don't have to check the What inventory. level spell is oh, uh, Can I make a save of one? You totally could if you wanted to. I would like to make a save of one. <laughs> <laughs> um, you twist. You twist, the, you twist fate. The and powers it, of what? Bill Murray. Eddie, <laughs> 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 and, and you see it and the, the sanctuary just whew, shimmers away. He's like, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's from Trank's turn, so... Oh, so he dispelled? Yes, he dispelled it. So on your turn, the sanctuary's down. Ooh, okay. That's awesome. Well, what you uh, you knocked out. I don't want to burn the building to the ground. Defense, oh. Nice. Burn the bitch. I just uh, added a little fuckery to make it. Or do I throw a moonbeam? Awesome. I can call a moonbeam down on him. I don't know if he's going to take damage from radiant or not. That's the problem. Turn try. into a bear turn and tear his ass up. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's restrained stuff because we know. Yeah, but if I move into it, I'm restrained too. Ah, you food, man. Oh wait a minute. When I break the concentration, yeah, go. it's gone. The plants will be gone. Yes. <laughs> You're back to druidy things. Thank you. <laughs> really <Yeah>. good. <laughs> They're very good. That is no lie. Um. Take some week. All right, man. I will turn off the. Yeah, we're going, man. Um, I'll turn off the plants. Sure. And turn him to a do a bear. Wild, do shape, it. wild shape into a uh, a black bear. You can become an alligator if you want to, though. Honestly. Yeah. Well, don't, don't let know. us. You could be the alligator you. into anything other than being an. <laughs> You'd alligator. be whatever you want to be. You'd be the alligator. It's quite you possibly be the most successful animal on this planet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's been around the longest. <laughs> it's extension sure. radius. <laughs> to be desired. Yeah. <laughs> we should all be so lucky to be. Yeah, crocodile. Survival. It's a crocodile or an yeah. I don't have a bear token, unfortunately. Do you have a crocodile one? I mean, I might. I'm, I'm just saying, it is, it's, the the it's the fate. It's the fate, man. Sign. You gotta go with it. <laughs> Let's compare statistics here. I don't have a crocodile token either. <laughs> oh, uh, that would have been awesome. <laughs> DM, are you, Matt? Jeez. We can all pretend that Neffin is a crocodile. <laughs> can we, though? I gotta see. I'm so visual. <laughs> I'm visualizing. <laughs> the crocodile's got a 20 foot speed. See? That's pretty good. That's way more than you need in this scenario. Bite is a plus four to hit. A D10 plus two. Interesting. And it, it also grapples. See? Hey, thank Not you so for following now. Resolver. Um, Those little arms? No, nah, it's with the mouth. Oh, okay. Oh, I just made it. Take him into the old crocodile. death world. Crocodile. Cool. crocodile. Yeah, yeah. Do so it. crocodile? Are we a crocodile? He's a Hell crocodile. yeah, we're a crocodile. Hell yeah. Uh, and then I will move up in front of um, Trank. In his crocodile form. No. It's quite possibly the coolest thing ever. See? <laughs> Do what I can. All right. And after Nip, I hear we'll that they're slugger. very fast, straight. He slowed up past you and me. We're both like, what the? Fuck? Right? What is that? Stamp on it. Getting good while for one evening. Have you ever even We've seen a, a crocodile firefight? <laughs> That's <laughs> quite possibly no. What's that big fucking thing? Most of the time, you see him once. Yeah. Yeah. If All you right. see that close. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the bottom of the turn, um, the webs, the the plants, um, the plants release. All right, so is there a giant mm -hmm. flower bouquet in this place? Or the pants are going up to the ground there anyway. It's going up to the ground. It's going up to the ground. He was kneeling at it when we first came in. I was wondering what that was. So did you? Uh, okay. okay. Like the flowers in the middle of the mm. uh, this is not Eric's music, it's not, oh, it's, it's a nice nod, <laughs> yeah. though, right? It is, yeah, it's not <laughs> beautifully done. Beautifully done. I like that. So, at this point, uh, Father Charles will collapse to, to one knee, uh, winded because maintaining that level of anti magic for this song has taxed him. Okay. So, we're going to exit combat. 
Yeah. So. A... Is John exiting combat? Is he Hell no. Jim, <laughs> Jim John! <laughs> Pretty he doesn't seem like the kind of would be like, never mind. If he doesn't say it, I'll be very sad. <laughs> Crocodile <laughs> the <laughs> I know, right? If you don't say I can see his soul getting sucked into his eyeball. I'm just saying, it's going to happen. If you don't say it like Shang Tsung from Mortal Kombat, it doesn't, doesn't count. Doesn't count. Exactly. Doesn't count. <laughs> He's still alive. <laughs> like a crocodile. It's like, fuck him up, sea bass. Do it. Okay. Do you have the the Loki antlers on just out of oh, curiosity? Of course. Oh no, <laughs> Loki crocodile. Oh yeah. All right. So once again, the cutscene. But you're not limited. So if you want to step in at any point, you can. So do you have morals? Question. <laughs> yeah. Do you? <laughs> Father Charles lay on the ground, bleeding from the wounds he'd suffered from combat. He had been spry, and his protection detail had come as a surprise, but he had proved ineffective at quenching John's wrath. John held, held out his left palm and smoked ooze outward, slithering through the air like some black tendrils of some eldritch horror just unseen on this side of reality. John, the preacher coughed. Don't do this. This is no way for a man to suffer and die. You don't know what you're dealing with. John lowers his eyes, growls the words, There are fates worse than death. Charles, suffer as I suffered. Feel what I feel. And despair as I have despaired. The tendrils reached out into Charles's eyes, nose, ears, and mouth. There was a wet pop of flesh and bone snapping. The heaves of blood-filled lungs echoed in the room as the preacher is torn apart, limb from limb, from the inside out. This is a drastic. Two like wisps of ethereal that. energy tear away from the priest like rubber bands snapping under too much strain. One, a ghostly cobalt blue. The other, a warm golden amber. The amber energy snakes across the floor over to John and is pulled into the sleeve of his coat. Your soul is his, John recalled. He holds out his right palm, and the blue energy swirls and focuses into the palm of his hand. He clenches his fist tight and quickly reopens it, and a small blue crystal lay within. Yeah. Your memories are mine, John said, pocketing the small stone. John spins on his heel and begins to mark out, march out of the church. Newfound confidence in his stride as some sense of relief begins to work its way into his mind. Two to go. He speaks to no one in particular as he lights a cigarette and steps into the dying light of the day in the busy street of Luxembourg. Is there like a hand of the priest still? Or like a bit of him? <laughs> yeah, sure. Excellent. You want it? I would like to take a gonna, knuckle specifically. Are you going to put it on a stick? <clears throat> no, I'm going to give it to John uh, oh. because uh, trophies are important. Barbarians do believe in trophies. Exactly. They do. You know, we can maybe make some entrail fetishes too and take it back to him. Ugh. That might be just for you, though. I'm just trying to cultivate a budding serial killer. You do what you need to do, bro. Right. I'm going to okay. turn back into the normal okay. cell. Okay. <laughs> don't think there's it's any reason to that frighten ha everyone. Since that happened the way it did, you don't have to expend that okay. uh, That uh, That's time. Well, Jake. It was still awesome. It was still awesome. So, don't let them take that. I prefer you as the alligator. <sighs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> You should refer to him as a crocodile because he gets quite salty about it. <laughs> Do we catch up to John or is John on yeah, a simple mind? He's, he's, not, for us he, or... he's not like power walking. He's okay. Sort of he's taking power walking. He's not he he's not like you know, he's not running here. <laughs> but he is uh, he's taking his time and he's enjoying the sights and he's taking in the scenery. 
Like he, uh, genuinely to all of you that have been traveling with him for a while, he seems like he feels better now than he has in a while. I don't know. Like that's a little disturbing. Uh, so uh, yeah, as we go through town, uh, does there happen to be like a fishmonger or a jewelry craft sure person? You can find something. Yeah. Excellent. Any of the kind of macabre, you know, style stores that are also into that. There's kind of... not a lot of that. Okay, I just yeah, not ask. a lot of I'm, occult I'm just, stuff. Here. I'm just kind of curious, like the vibe that I get in these areas. No, it's it's very it's very forward. Like you know, everything here, like this is a very utilitarian sort of society. So everything has purpose. There's very few things that are frivolous. Excellent. There's not like a souvenir stand or anything. So what I'm thinking is, as we're going, I'll go ahead and pick the flesh off the hand, you know, and get some bones, the, you know, the yeah, 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 exactly. And then uh, with the remaining, you know, basically knuckle bones, uh, what I would like to do is is fashion like, like you know, get a little copper ring, you know, like kind sure, of like, Vincent can and get it, get the uh, like just uh, copper wire, <laughs> drill a, a hole through the bones, uh, you know, uh, uh, make like a macabre, bone necklace. Yeah, and then uh, I think it would be. A great gift to my young Padawan John, uh, <laughs> and that's in like the at the end of our walk. Padawan. I'd like to present that to him, uh, you know, and I'm gonna inform him. You know, trophies are important. He grabbed us, fanboy. Yeah. <laughs> Chad says, "Who's the old guy in the top corner?" That's you. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Will playing Trank. <laughs> He's a little. If I had a dollar for it, I was called old. <laughs> you'd have a dollar. You'd have a, you'd have a dollar today. today. Yeah. <laughs> today, actually. So, um, you move through. You can craft your macabre necklace if you'd like to. Um, as you move through, as you move through the streets, um, John seems to take his time. He moves from one stand to another. He, um. On the step? Is there yeah. a child on the stairs? What okay. you need, buddy? Is that boss? Huh? Sure. You're fine. It's the Uh, probably not tonight, honey. I'm sure Jessica's on the couch in the living room, and that only works on that TV. Okay. Okay. When the game is finished, I'll help you out. Okay. Huh? When the game is finished, I'll help you out. Okay, thank you. Um, and he seems rather jovial. Um, you uh, you quickly approach a, you know, a wall of sh little shopping um, centers or whatever, sort of like a uh, strip mall kind of thing, uh, and uh, to either side of the street. And off, and there's one shop. Uh, it's a flower shop off to one side, and it's named Roses Are Red. And the city, like in front of the glass, uh, it's closed. It's completely dark. And uh, John walks up to the door and stands there and looks at it for a moment. And then um, takes his elbow and shatters the glass on the front door. And reaches through and unlocks it and walks into the, walks into the building. To the flower shop? Yes. Uh, uh, no, I'm going to go to a close by store and perhaps uh, peruse their goods and not be involved in this one. I'll just hang out on the street. I'm not going in. I'll just okay. lean against something. I agree, John. Take what you want. The mm -hmm. world is your oyster. What that, uh, what is, what, what's inside an oyster? Grossness. Look that grossness, whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> um, John walks uh, through the store for a moment, and uh, there's you know the the counter where the register and things are, and there's all sorts of just colorful, beautiful displays, and uh, all of them are sitting on these uh, solid iron shelves, and there's like a little um, green crystal in front of each one. And as you notice, you can walk by them. Um, if they're all locked in time, so they'll never will. Oh yeah, those are cheap, I'm sure. <laughs> and 
Uh, as he walks to the back of the store, um, you see him kind of place his hand against the wall. It looks solid, and he... Uh, right there. And he pushes, and the door opens. There was a cash register here? It was a hidden door. Sorry. Same thing, though. Was there a cash register here, though? There was a cash register, yeah. yeah. You want the cash Just on the way, since it happened to be there. <laughs> yeah. I was wondering if there happened to be, I don't know, no funds. Morals. No you, morals. You'll have to open the cash register. I open the cash register. <laughs> <laughs> roll a strength check and please roll a one. It dropped. We uh, roll a one, Chad. It's going to get uh, full tantrum-y. <laughs> Please destroy the whole pretty much. Naturally, it's a uh, single digit. So, with uh, my strength of 16, that'll take it to an 11. And if I'm proficient at opening cash, <laughs> <laughs> you're proficient at opening things. Um, so you will, you walk up to the cash register and you you're like I've seen this a hundred times you know and you go you're hitting a button, right you're, button and nothing happens because <laughs> uh, there's no power <laughs> to, to the register so so you try two or three times you get frustrated you know and then the whole top of the cash register just dislocates and bends under your and so you can just you, and there's the drawer and it's got nothing in it. <laughs> I hate this place. <laughs> who, who leaves it. money in the till overnight? Uh, people who lock their doors. Right. <laughs> their glass doors <laughs> on the street. <laughs> I will peek my head in at the noise to see. Okay. So yeah, so there is a destroyed cash register and an angry air <laughs> cocra off to one end of the room, but the angry air cocra is normal. Yeah. And then and then there is a, a where the wall would typically be. There is an opening that's in the shape of a doorway. I will follow because I'm curious. I verified that there's nothing. I'll go to. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we're in the little store next door. I found these were a wonderful tendon spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm terrible at night. <laughs> and Buddy's burning a hole in his pocket. <laughs> you and Trank coming? Yeah. 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 Around you go. I'm going to call tonight's session Make Bad Choices. <laughs> I told you before we started, you can opt out at any point. Uh, <laughs> one shot. One, one shot. shot right? <laughs> we don't get to be evil that often. You are. <laughs> I'd like to pretend I'm the emperor. Yeah. Will knows this about me. He <laughs> knows I actively campaigned for the empire for Star Wars Legion. I mean, they did bring order. See? Thank you. They <laughs> <laughs> brought slavery. They deserved it, Will. They deserved it. Oh, I'm gonna go home and put all my empire shit on eBay, and I'll buy it. <laughs> as you as you move through the the long corridor it uh quickly turns into a spiral staircase that goes upward and as you do you emerge into a a room with a big glass window on one side where the sunset is pouring in and there are three figures that are guarding uh a double door off to one end um there is one arm or one figure who is armored from head to toe the other two are very similar to the men you saw before, except less shadowy and ominous. These are these look more like common street thugs. <clears throat> I always Jonathan, thought that a man I, that wore armor was a coward. Jonathan, I'm in need of a, a nap, but I, I suppose we can go ahead and start with this. And, uh, yeah. John looks at you and says, "Would you like to ask him the move before I do?" Oh, um, I didn't think we were going to ask. John will move forward. Did we yeah. break these windows too, John? Huh? What's the next? <laughs> <laughs> like, we need to break these windows too, don't we? There's a bunch of them back there. We need to break. I broke anything up on the steps. <laughs> the paladin <laughs> finally steps forward. Let's make a choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moral <Paladin>. compass, engage. <laughs> 
It's about Proudly. time. It took you half the session, but you have joined us. Thank you, Colleen. Okay. Uh, hey, I'm starting to hit the tree still off. Paladin's been on the wrong roller coaster for this one. Yeah, I know. Join the wrong team here. Suddenly your uh, divine powers don't work at all. Well, it, does, it does make you wonder why a priest had a bunch of uh, shadowy assassins hanging it out in the dark. Yeah. Yeah. You know. kind of hmm. I, and I engaged the shadowy assassins. At the very least, he was corrupt as hell. Yeah, so, so is there something you'd like to do, Shelly? I would just like to ask John what is behind the door. Hopefully, vindication. Another person to kill. <laughs> he told us his hit list know, going into maybe, this. Maybe, like we, we were crystal clear at the start maybe. of this. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Literally. I think I'm going to spe- save some spell slots. I'm just going to turn it into have an oath breaker. <laughs> <laughs> I choose now to crocodile. <laughs> crocodile. <laughs> All right, all right, continue. continue. All right. John, channel the rage this time. <laughs> channel the rage! John steps forward, and he looks back at Vincent, and he goes, Diplomacy. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers sparking. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> you rubbed off on each other. John steps forward, and he tips his hat, and he says, Gentlemen, um, might I inquire as to who is on the other side of that door? And... The guy in the, the armor, you know, turns and looks at him and says, none of your fucking business. Mm. Oh, wrong answer, buddy. Not the proper response. <laughs> John, do you want me to break this window, too? <laughs> and John, you know, he, he, ta- he, he takes his hat off and puts it in one hand, and he, he sort of runs his hand through his hair, and he says, see, it's not the answer I need. Uh, John person. You charm him? Yeah, I'll charm the the guy that seems to be actually armored. Okay. Wisdom saving throw. Right, with the wisdom ten. That's not gonna do it. Yeah. And so I, I come <laughs> up and place my hand on his shoulder and I'm like, oh, we really need this information. So if you don't mind, friend, uh, uh, who is on the other side of this door? Uh, let's see. Uh, well, that would be, uh, uh, Master Gorafar and his employer, and a small contingent of guards that are hired to protect him. Wow, you, you really made it past the first grade. I'm proud of you. Um, see, Jonathan was us. John says, nope. What did all? And he draws his pistol and points it right through the eye slot of that guy and pulls the trigger. He was charmed. He could have been like, let us in. And he would have been like, this way. <laughs> as soon as that were all. That's not what today is about. <laughs> today is about retribution. Uh, can I make a quick intimidation check after John blows that motherfucker away? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! With 21 points of damage from a single pistol shot. Uh, which is enough to wipe the floor with my guy here. Uh, pal! Alright, so... And, uh, John points his pistol at the other two men and says, Do we have a problem? Uh, I would like to assist in the intimidation and be like, the, the stairs are over there. And you see these others, see what they do. Oh, they might fight, who knows. They're gonna stand their ground. Uh, they look at each other and like, should we run? And the guy's like, well, if we run, they'll kill us. And we're like, if we stay, they're gonna kill us. What are we gonna do? <laughs> and uh, the other one's like, I don't know. Fight. <laughs> roll initiative. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, the croc's gonna roll. Ah, uh, fucking twenty. The, the croc. Yes. You got a twenty as well. Yep. Woo! Nice. Seventeen. Woo. Scraw, what'd you, you get? Yeah. 15. My man. A crocodile. Scraw with the 15. Bronwyn. Four. I'm not sure I want to do this. Either. Four. <laughs> yeah. Vincent. The 20. 20. Evil is more fun. I totally agree. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, Bronwyn drink. doesn't need to follow up after this. What'd you roll? 20. 20. Man, you guys are fast. Nevin. 17. Uh, I was 17 right there. For the crocodile. My god, you guys are fast. Maybe not. They'd probably be dead by then. What did he roll? 
A two. <laughs> they rolled a two. That's because they had the conversation while right, we were yeah. pulling our weapons out. Powering up. All right. So it is between Trank and Vincent for who goes first. Who has higher dexterity? Trank. So Trank goes first. <laughs> I kind of say just so everybody move up and let Steve Irwin eat them. <laughs> <laughs> right, so. <laughs> Craig just jumps right down out of his thought. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> if you came out the with a crocodile like a battering ram. <laughs> <laughs> well, how much does the croc weigh? I don't think it specifies the weight. It doesn't specify the weight. Yeah, I don't know. He could probably pick me up. <laughs> you're uh, if you're like an African croc, you know, the fifteen hundred pound ones. No. <laughs> You're strong. I, I think, uh, I think it's probably, I think Crocs normally like maximum. I thought it was like 800. I think the, uh, like, think, they're, like the, I think the alligators are bigger. The big ones. ones, like the really big ones you see. The really big ones like in Africa are uh, mean. Yeah, but they're, but they're, they're like 20. They're big, yeah. yeah, they're like, they're, they're dragon. Yeah. You know, yeah. none of us are going to pick it up. <laughs> Hmm? Well, yeah, I'm not going to pick it up. Scrawl <laughs> Scra might be able to. Yeah, Scrawl's yeah, got a good string to. score. Mine is negative one, so good luck with it. Not that. you. <laughs> he bends over. He yeah, according to the down. stat sheet, it doesn't have a weight. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a swim speed and a regular speed. Yep. Hmm. You can hold its breath for 15 minutes. I mean, we're going to do one DC. Gonna gonna do? Do? We're going to do one DC. Uh, I'm pounds. going to blast one of these for so. 400. So you're a 400 pound crocodile. Yeah. Mm. I mean, that's pretty bad off. <laughs> right. I'm walking around here with my quarter stuff. Go bite him. I'mm. I'm going to bite him. And it's going to be epic. I'm going to hang back. I want him to. Get he can hold it. Right. Right. I'm just going to hang back. I want. Jerry to eat somebody. Oh, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to uh, just, cast just fire fire around. Good. I know. <laughs> Good new Barton. We've established you. You don't even know. I could. I could, I could but uh, I want a burning hand on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to bolt him or ball them? <laughs> bolt. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Made that distinction earlier. A little earlier. too close for the ball. <laughs> Giggity. Um, so, <laughs> I, I'm going to bolt the one directly in front of me. I, I get disadvantage for range attacks because he's uh, right next to me, don't I? Correct. Yeah, uh, you'd think I'd be able to hit someone that's right in front of me. Um, uh, Alright, how does Lucky work with rolling a disadvantage? Can I re- uh, you can pick one to reroll. Okay, well, I'm going to pick this four to reroll. Uh, that's better. So the low roll is an 11, so 18 to hit. 18 hits. <laughs> Short range Kai Blast. Ow. Oh, a big fat three damage oh, for wow. the 2d10. <laughs> Whoosh. <laughs> I almost did your moon beam. You, you, yeah. you singe up the side of his neck and you... Ah, that's hot, Tina. <laughs> <laughs> um that. yeah it hurts a lot kind of <laughs> a little bit um next is Niffin all right Niffin come on that's a bite 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 right. bite bite <laughs> bite, um, bite you gonna go up and croc one I'm Please gonna do. bite the one uh that he just fireballed so maybe I can finish him <clears throat> croc, croc him yeah <laughs> Nat 20? Nat 20. 23. <laughs> you got him. Okay. There's almost a nat 20. I rolled a 19. <laughs> he also, uh, he'll have to make a strength check um, for being grappled. Everywhere. D10 plus 2. Because <laughs> he's going to death roll him. So that's... Yep. <laughs> six, that awesome. It's a 6. 6 points of damage? 6 points of... Uh, piercing. 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 6 points of... Crime. He latched onto his leg. That's enough. To and kill him. Okay. Well, well then you grapple. don't have to it worry about the. Yes, you. you, you grapple. Mean, it's okay. However, you'd like to de- describe your death alligator roll. death roll. Um. Everyone else move on. It's very <laughs> messy at this point. It is. Yes. It's very messy. It's just like just limp blood. corpse flopping between the floor and the wall. I think I'm going to do this going forward. I'm going to use spells and then just turn into a crocodile and bite things. See, that's the way to go. Raw. Correct. Uh, Raw. Way. Uh, so I'm gonna fly at the other guy and uh, uh, stab him. Uh, hack, hack him. I think it's gonna be a hacky sack moment. Uh, will a 18 do the trick? 
18 will do it. So he's going to get hit twice. One's for max. So one's for slightly less than max. And he's probably dead. He's probably super dead, yeah. <laughs> uh, if that's a D12 and you yeah, max, he's dead. <laughs> yeah, he's, uh, so the, the max, uh, just went straight into the skull. Yeah, yeah, you just bisected him from one end to the other. Were these guys named Steve and Irwin? They were. <laughs> Walker, Texas yeah, Walker, Texas <laughs> Yeah, their pronouns are was, were. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that yep. was good. <laughs> Put him on the front of an airbrush t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's that. John just seems happy as a lark. Five, John. <laughs> no. Oh. Thought we were having a good time. When you're done? Have a this good time. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> there is the queen when we need it. Exactly. That was what was going through my head. Okay, so there's the set of green doors in front of you. Uh, I suppose that one is going to be first to open them. Scry, would you do us the favor of opening the door? Yeah. You know, after this, we should talk about testosterone. Something. Uh, <laughs> Aww. Scrod's concerned with his health. I think oh, it's no. enduring. Yes, yes. Uh, uh, he means he said you're not manly. <laughs> sorry, I started thinking, like, this whole thing, I started thinking about Brucey from, uh, 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 just for whatever it's called. Uh, before we open the door, oh, he needs um, to. Jonathan, uh, do you intend to engage in any conversation with these gentlemen, or can I just, you know, explode the whole room? There is one, maybe two, that I'd like to speak to, uh, but the rest, no. Yeah. If it looks like anything that we've seen so far, you can just kill it. Can I go ahead and <laughs> ready for... Scrawl, if you don't mind opening the door and then taking a step to the side, it's going to get a little messy. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, a drink. Would you like to... Join me in these endeavors and, and uh, hand you a ball of bat guano. And, yeah, and, uh, you just dab it in a little bit of sulfur. And, all right, Scra, when you're ready. Artillery. <laughs> Are we about to see a double fireball? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Whatever's in the room is dead. Yeah, sure. I'm going to walk up to the door. And uh, I'm going to yell, Introducing John! <laughs> yeah, kick open the door. <laughs> Zena! <laughs> uh, <laughs> <to the side. laughs> John walks in the door. <laughs> Fireballs. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Wasn't that one of the entrances? Never mind. <laughs> it might have been one of the WrestleMania entrances. I don't know. Um, so, yeah, they're going to need to make some deck saves. <laughs> All right. So, roll a strength <laughs> check against the door. Uh, sorry. The door is going to defeat you. <laughs> <laughs> After What's that. Up, After that huge. Welcome to our stevenness. <laughs> I rolled an 18 naturally. Aww. I think I... Yeah. <laughs> Unless this is a door not prepared for. <laughs> Just had a manty uh, strength is plus three, so at least a 21. Unless you want me to like, oh, have yeah. proficient on you, it. You so. got it. Okay. The, yeah, the door is quite you. open. <laughs> yeah, the door actually flies in about 10 feet before it falls to the ground. <laughs> Like double fireball? Yeah. yeah. Okay. John Cena walks in the door. Fire. <laughs> I'm just fire, fire, fire. It, it fire is takes D6. <laughs> I thought it was. I'll just make sure. I'm yeah. Right, right. All right. Yeah, it's like a... Oh, dear Lord. Uh, 13 and... 19 and... Uh, uh, 23 on my fireball. Oh my God. Let me put the template down so we can maximize. Twenty-four. Can't write. Uh, 
so that it hits the maximum number of people. One, two. It's good. Just a little bit more. It's one, two, three. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm taking 48 fire damage. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, you can you can almost get everything in the room. No, we're just going for the... The, the main mix. conglomerate. Yes. So you wanna... I wouldn't worry about the two armored fellows. Okay. Everything in the back. Yeah, right there. Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the target? Yeah. <laughs> unfortunate for them. <laughs> it's unfortunate for John. He's not going to be able to talk to them. <laughs> <laughs> it might surprise you. <laughs> They'll be quite wounded. They better have a hell of a lot of health. <clears throat> so, dexterity checks. Yes. For the first for the... First two gentlemen. In the very front, those unfortunate souls that take it to the face before anybody. <laughs> uh, first one fails. Second one fails. Uh, Captain Gorvir. Both of these are 15. Yeah, he fails. Uh, Tristan, 17. Uh, Layla. One. <laughs> and the archer. Uh, 14. Or, no, 14 fails. So, uh, the but all failed, uh, Tristan passed and Goromir passed. Oh, Everybody yeah. else failed. It's a half damage for them. Yeah, half damage that was for them. so that was for who who fireballed first. I, I'll say I did. Yeah, so okay. 23 points. All right, it's half down to 12. Yeah, and then these two are just incinerated. <laughs> <laughs> the archer's pretty fucked too. <laughs> So they're wounded, and so is Layla, but they but they're not killed outright. No, the second one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> second volley. <laughs> Tristan, the natural twenty for him. And oh, then Gormir uh, rolls a thirteen, so he fails, and Layla rolls a nineteen. Right. She needed it too. She rolled a one last time. Yeah, that, that's the. Uh, so that, what? What? That's the twenty-five. Twenty-five. Wow, that's more than you. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. He rolled two sixes. I was like, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Looks good. For Layla. I won't kill her. Uh, Tristan's fine. He passed both his saves. And then Gormir is... Limping. <laughs> a, <lot. laughs> a little scorched. You're a little scorched, yeah. <laughs> Woo! It's sweaty in there. The whole room is probably... Like engulfed started, in flames, yeah. yeah. Ignited. Yeah, especially since they're standing on wood. <laughs> it's a raging inferno inside the room. Bet you you're gonna run out. Guess I'll go ahead and uh, use that third level slot, for the last one. <laughs> so, yeah, that would have been Vincent and Trank. Yeah, that's my that's my yeah. only thirds. Right. Uh, so now Bronwyn, Bronwyn gets a turn. I guess I'll do it now. I mean, it seems like it's on fire. The room's on fire. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, it's it, very on fire. Yeah. Um, they the door in America. America. They, yeah, they Oklahoma bombered this shit. <laughs> <laughs> it was fertilizer and diesel fuel. You all bombed the door. They, they say I'm the bomb, like I ran in Boston. <laughs> yeah, there's no door to actually <laughs> oh, yeah. kicked in ten feet. Wow. Yeah, it's it's it's, it's gone. There's no door. That, swamp that door. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta remember that. Wow, that's a good one. I'll shoot an arrow. What? Do the fire? Yeah, like, it's it's only in the back. You can go up and stab yeah. an armor it, guy if you want. It is it's really like it is the yeah, other room is on fire, but it's it's of no real significance. Not in combat terms anyway. Right, well, I'll go in. Okay. Well, I don't think I don't know if I can click this. <clears throat> I have Well you've only gone feet. you've only gone like five, so then fifteen. Yeah, you can get up to either the left or the right armored dudes. Which one do you want to go hit? We'll do the hit. Looks like there's a pie. I know, I'll go here. towards the pie. Hell yeah! There is a pie. <laughs> That's really and it escaped the fireball. I know. <laughs> I feel like that's a sign. It's got a crispy top. I, I'd imagine um, that the uh, the armored guys are just like ears ringing. <laughs> yeah, they're having they're like the door, Vietnam flashbacks. <laughs> well, the door kicked down and there was the John Cena theme, and then the room was on fire. Well, they don't know. They don't know. What happened. They're all like and now, they're, they're, now they're getting the shit kicked out of them. Yeah, by the they're they're all, all, they're all, they're all, they're just like, oh good lord! Whoa! No, it was fifteen. Oh. nine. So now I'm at twenty. Twenty-four to hit. Yeah. Yeah. Your armor doesn't mean shit. Well, I get to reroll. I think it's because they stuck. 
There we go. Yeah, seven plus six. Fifteen. And then your second attack. Yeah. So thirteen, and then. Oh, Ooh. Uh, uh, the I saw that. I ate the cake. <laughs> you ate the cake. Ate the cake. You're right by the cake. That's good. Ah, you're all like, you're all like oh, spoon. <laughs> I like stab him with one hand. The other hand, I was like <laughs> eating the cake. Right. Yeah, Perfectly reasonable day. response. We eaten he, I gave you animal on a stick. That was like hours ago now. <laughs> that was like 30 minutes in a fight ago. <laughs> right. it's like once you fight, you burn all that up. This is afternoon, evening tea time. <laughs> Second trip. Losing daylight rapidly. <laughs> that is my trip. Alright. Uh, next is... Neffin. Hmm. Oh, so let's see. Let's just see. Uh, 20. 20. Uh, the black bear, the warrior of panther, you have the higher speed. And looking at the panther it did look pretty interesting. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with the black. Yeah, I was just saying that the panther's cool because it has a pounce attack. It's true. Mm. And my bear is claw claw bite, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It yeah. has multi attack, <laughs> but the panther would knock him prone. Um, yeah. So, yeah, whichever you. Yeah, prefer. but it's a strength check, and these guys are fodder. Okay. So they're just gonna I beat him up as a bear. Yes. And you could do the alligator thing again too. Yeah. Bear. And bear. Bear. Possible. Yeah, I want to go bear. Do it. And um, bear wild bear. shape bear. <laughs> Get this guy. One, two, three, four, five. You can make it. Yes. Maul nice. him. Yes, I believe I will. So I get two claws and a bite then? Sure. Sure. Okay. The bear makes two attacks one with its bite and one with its claws. Okay, yeah, so there so you two go. attacks. Yeah. Claws okay. and then bite. So, claws first. Yep. 20. Woohoo! Nat 20? No. Ah. Uh, 30 20. Still, it's great. Okay. And that is. 54. Plus 2. Oh, good lord! 10! 10? That's just from the claws. <laughs> well, they're a little tougher. And um, Ten, bite him. the bite. And he shits his Damn. Eight. Ding. <clears throat> the scratch goes through, though. I'm going to rake it across the front of that armor, and you can feel it rend underneath the claw. Um, you cause some damage to it? I'm sure he peed on top. Yes. Mm. You know, a great big bear coming at you. His armor is already rusting. Yeah, exactly. Tristan, his turn. So does Tristan look like his brother? Yes, very much so. Uh, just he's about he's three inches th tall. He's a he looks a little younger by several years, and he's considerably shorter. Ah, oh. yeah. So oh. whereas whereas John is <laughs> John's probably six two, he's probably closer to five eight five nine. So. Mm. I really wish I could play this character till level eight. <laughs> the grizzly bear. Yeah, you got that. So he will walk to the, the you know to the center of the room here, and you'll see him. You know he's he's, he's on fire. You know he's 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 saying whoa 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 what's the commotion? There's no need for any of this. Why are we fighting? He's on fire, and I can probably he's, stay that level. Whoa whoa yeah, yeah. that's a surprisingly <laughs> calm response to your room getting blown up twice. <laughs> he's pretty calm about it. And a bear. Yeah, and a dwarf, a bear. Yeah, a dwarf in, in the corner. <laughs> no, he needs to die now. It, it's too suspicious. <laughs> too suspicious. Um, isn't John gonna say anything? That's it's his not brother. his turn yet. It's not his turn yet. No, I can't say anything. Oh. Yeah. Uh, it's his turn. It is John's turn. He'll. Uh, well, it's Remember? not John's turn. John's turn's at the end. No, that was the end of Tristan's turn. He was like, whoa, hold up. Why are you guys being so aggressive? That's kind of it, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. No need for none of this, It's like a joint in one hand. Hey, man. Why are, why are we Listen. being so aggressive? Listen, fellas. Like, we can so as, he, as he's, uh, as he's speaking, uh, about it. 
as he's speaking, all of you uh, hear a, a pretty uh, loud sound. And, and as he does, you uh, you see him sort of echo, like his like it's almost like his body's water. He's just, you see, mm-hmm. it, uh, huh? Uh, why why are we so angry? I'm just here having some lunch with some friends. Lunch at nighttime. <laughs> Too suspicious. <laughs> Too suspicious. He's not oriented. All right. Uh, scraw. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, so, uh, let's see. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Excellent. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to, uh, uh, fly into the room. How tall is the room? Like, how tall is the ceiling? I should specify clearly. <laughs> it's 20 feet. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I can fly 50 feet. So, no, I'm coming in. I'll uh, get on the other side of Tristan. Okay. I'm going to then uh, uh, rage. And uh, I'm so spicy. Very spicy. I do three points of fire damage to everybody within 10 feet of me, so I catch all three of them. Oh, no. Mm. And uh, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> that fire, exactly. the the fire spicy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the spicy chicken will actually kill Goromir. That was <laughs> shit. <laughs> he had two hit points left. Yes. Fire chicken. Your, uh, now you can sing songs of how your mere presence killed a man one time. <laughs> you are now. Fire. You just need to find a bard to write the song. I'm telling you. Find the bard to write the song. Well, you are Bart. That is the appropriate response. You have a ukulele. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm going to hear the chicken dance song. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> that is funny. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'll uh, I'll throw some haymakers at uh, at Tristan. Okay. You know, uh, um, there is only the rage, the fire of our passion. Actually, I'll just find a uh, book will and a... It should actually this up. Uh, dirty twenty hit him. Yes, dirty wow. twenty. He said. Uh, I have advantage because I throw haymakers. <clears throat> yeah, great. Man. Oh, and then an actual my children to wow. the market, my book with the market. Yeah. Right, so fuck him up. So regular uh, <laughs> D twenty. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, we'll do uh, 17 points of damage to him. 17 points. Yep. Okay. And, then the and that is um, magical great axe, in case he has any kind of resistance sons. And then my critical, 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 still working on it. Workshopping it a little bit. Uh, 9 plus 6, 15. 15? Yep. 15 more. 15 all together. Yes, yeah, so you strike him twice, like back to back, and you see him with your hands, right? Yeah. Uh, no, this is with a great axe. With great, okay, yeah. Magic great axe. So you slice him twice, and you, you open him from the front, and again, you bisect him upward as on the return stroke, and you see him. <laughs> you stack his back, and he's. Why? Because I can. <laughs> Matt was like, I was not expecting you motherfuckers to be like, embrace the evil. <laughs> I don't have. You <laughs> have an idea for something. Bronwyn. But I'm going to need my uh, yes. magical friends and Bronwyn to be able to pull it off. next to me. Here. Well, I think this guy is like not really there or something because he's just being super calm as he gets ha- hacked to pieces. Huh? 17 to hit. It's a. Actually, no, no, the knight, it won't hit. It won't hit? The 17 nah. won't hit? Need an 18. Sure? You need okay. an 18. Does he have a shield or is it just plate? Shield. Okay. Seven. No, I didn't hit him. Yep. 
I think so. Isn't that what you said? Because, yeah. you know, we were looking for 18s to hit him. That's why I was asking if it was played or if it was shield. Nothing. I'm Nothing. eating cake. You're eating cake. cake. You're all, ha, ha. Oh, my. <laughs> this is delicious. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Totally distracted. Right. Hey, is that cake? I know. You're just over there with the potato in your mouth. The night, the night fighting, the night fighting Neff. Trying to make me think of that. Neff. 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 Neff.
Uh, agonizing Blast. Oh, what's the other one? The one that drives him back. P repelling Blast. Oh, yeah, Repelling Blast. Yes, ball. Repelling Blast will drive you back 10 feet. Yep. So, Pass the cake. I know, I take the cake with me. <laughs> yeah, you just grab it on your way back. <laughs> yes, we do. We're not deep in the bag of tricks yet. Just wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Next turn. John's, yeah, no. John's next. John, would you politely walk in here and shoot, shoot people? Shoot everybody in the face. Right? <laughs> Use your magic gun. John, which one, two, yeah. three. Five. So John walks through the door and had a, stands before a bloody Tristan on the floor who's been bisected by Scroff. Um And Tristan's eyes go wide and you see him. John, what are you doing here? And you see John levels his pistol at Tristan's head. He says, I'm here for you. Tristan says, why? What did I do? And Layla will scream out from across the room. He doesn't know. He can't remember you. Mm. I made sure of it. All he knows is that he's been married to Vespera for 10 years while you've been gone. So go ahead, John. Kill him if you have to. But if you think you're going to get any satisfaction from it, you're fucking mistaken because he can't even remember that he did anything wrong. Listen to the woman, John. Calm down. Just calm down. Shoot her. <laughs> With the big gun. Yeah, I'm going to think, shoot John, I need to go down. Yep, yep, yep. Remember yep. the big rifle, John. Specific target. <laughs> All right. Rail gun. We'll Top of the turret. John's confused. Vincent. Uh, Sorry, take yeah. it back. Trank, Trank is first. He's okay, yeah. mm -hmm. and then and then, yeah. then bits. All right, shit. Those two guards been there too, but uh, don't worry. No, don't don't worry about them. Kill the witch. Well, the one, one big one got, witch, will hit him witch. too, so I don't want to do that. You've got other spells. Yeah, I know. I said the big one. I didn't want to use the big one because it's the, the chicken right there. Thunderous, whatever. No, no, no. Game. It's the, the Ray of Frost it, and the like, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, go ahead oh, and okay. yeah. spells and um, uh, give her some slaps. <laughs> you wouldn't give a shit anyway. Well, I mean, you know, move yeah, me up the, if, I assumed it was Thunderclap. That's it is. He wants to go to right there. That's like two. You want to move there? Yeah. Next to the spicy chicken. One, two, can I get there for four, five, six? Oh, you yeah, want to be here? He doesn't want to go there. Next to the spices. Oh, nice, next. Yeah, yeah, you can get the spices. No, no, no. All night. And now you're better. All right. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is Ray of Frost on the Mad Redhead. Sure. And what was that again? D20 to hit. D20 to hit. Yep. Whatever your bonus is. Should be like a plus six, shouldn't it? Proficiency. Proficiency bonus. plus uh, spellcasting mode. Uh, it should be plus seven. Yeah, at our level, yeah. it's plus seven. Sixteen. Sixteen. Uh, we'll hit her. All right. Mm, it's what two d eight ice. Yeah, two d eight. So I remember doing that before. Three. Yep. Total six. Six. She lives. Barely. Barely, you say. And uh, then. Quicken. Yeah. Magic missile? Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, he's magic missile? Nice. Yeah. He's yeah. finally doing sorcerer shit. Yes. Yeah. Two, it's a three. Three. Nope. Oh, damn it. Uh, two in total for that. And four. four. Whew. Okay, that puts her down. Kills her? Yes, uh, she, colla it. she collapsed. All right. Good job. Hey, oh. So just the two guards you live. Uh, Vince? Yeah, I will uh, enter this way. Like an epic badass. Oh, uh, yeah. Since the work's done. <laughs> Since the work's done. 
<laughs> well, he was part of the big. <laughs> I will uh, fire one right over the uh, black bear and uh, cast firebolt on him. Uh, no. I'm actually not a black bear anymore. He knocked me out of the black bear. Oh, yeah? Yes, black you're... bear? Yeah. There's still just, there's a gnome there. It's very mm. it's... Well, I'll use my last look. You look kind of happy in the picture. I know, right? <laughs> uh, it's a 14 to hit. 14 to hit. Okay. Uh, misses. That is unfortunate. Oh, okay. I'm done. Close to Next is Neffin. I need new jackasses. <laughs> the one that knocked me out of the bear form? Yes. Since he's such a lovely person. He is. He's wonderful. He can get fucked. His name's he's, Tim. He's totally about fucked. to eat. <laughs> his name's Tim. You, you have a whole backstory on Tim. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he's only here to feed his family. He's, just, he? doing his, he's just doing his job. Uh-huh. He's got kids. <laughs> Wrong <laughs> evil heir. <laughs> He's so, got kids. I'm gonna cast. <laughs> I'm gonna cast Moonbeam as a third level. Oh no! <laughs> Moonbeam with extreme prejudice. <laughs> he struck me. <laughs> if he hadn't hit me, I was sir, gonna cast the other guy. Struck me. I love being a bear. <laughs> so that's um. <laughs> it's in a deck save. Twenty-three. Wow. Um, kind of nineteen. I think it's a deck save. Con saves. Tim still in Con save. Tim's Tim's still 17. Employed. Whatever your yeah. DC is. Does that mean a DC? Does he take half? Yeah. A half on a successful. So how much is it? He did 21. 21, so 10. Oh, it's just enough. He had 10 left. Uh, good job, dude. <laughs> you got him. Tim's Woo! no longer employed. <laughs> maybe, maybe he has Tim been has been fired. He's got a good insurance Whoa. policy. Yes, I'm He's got a good insurance I'm gonna policy. I'm going to give his shield to the paladin. <laughs> maybe the plate mail, too. <laughs> the forest gnome is there slamming. He's slamming his so, staff. <laughs> Tristan, <laughs> it's Tristan's he turn. He's it. hopping around. Tristan, I thought he was bisected. He is, but he's not dead. He's just, he's just he's just on the ground. He didn't remember though. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> well, hey now, he's but he's a uh, he's laying there and he's he's bleeding out effectively, and he's looking up at John and he's saying, "Why are you hurting me? I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, you did you are you home for more? Why are you? I mean, we're we're leaving. We can take you with us. You know, he's begging and pleading his brother. Why why are you here? Why are you hurting me? Um." Scraw. No. John's like, hey, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna come over to John. About to be a bad influence. I think John. <laughs> John. John as well. No. I think so. No, I think you should kill him to die. You need to kill him Regardless of <laughs> the magic fuckery of what's her face, the one that's died all over the floor over there. Can't even. He still did the things with your woman. That your species does. <laughs> he your species did the mating stuff. Uh, how, does the mating stuff. How, how does mating work for you, Scra? <laughs> we have a very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to go over it right now. <laughs> in six seconds, <laughs> <laughs> the birds and the bees. Mostly the birds. More birds than bees. <laughs> This is the man that did those things with your. What's the word? I'm not telling. The female of your I species. With you. The committed one. The committed one. There was that whole ceremony. We killed the, the guy that did the thing with you guys. With her, too. He was the other one. It bumped the uglies. Yeah. <laughs> Are you helping? <laughs> oh, so know. this is gonna be my. Uh, You're being so convoluted. <laughs> fucking rooms on fire. People are dead. <laughs> fucking bear. I'm trying to. Uh, <laughs> no, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> fucking have dead guy on the ground. Sure, yeah. why not? You can't uh, talk into us. What's the? Be persuasion in it. Yes, that's what I was. I was like You're persuading I was like, him to end it. Yeah, this is my <laughs> persuasion attempt to convince him that, uh, uh, you know, uh, 
to take out take his vengeance. No. Kill the almost dead guy. That's an eight. <laughs> God. I think I spoke. Oh my god, he wrote a five. Yes! <laughs> yes! I mean, did you really have to persuade him? I mean, not really. It was a little bitch. He literally. He's going here to do the thing that no! you're trying to get him to do. But he was, <laughs> said he was confused. I was like, no! <laughs> Don't be a bitch now! <laughs> All right, Bronwyn, your turn. <laughs> you gonna you gonna talk to John? Yeah. Okay, let's go. Fuck this guy fighting you over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Can no, you, you kill? Hey, the, he gets a turn. Huh? Can you kill the asshole and then say something? I mean, that's his try. As a bonus action? I mean, I can't talk. It's <laughs> really up to you. However, whatever you want to do. <laughs> He's, he's, he's he got go pretty high. Here and finish off Tim's friend. Be like, Jonathan, you really shouldn't do that. <laughs> As you're wiping the gore from your blade. <laughs> you know. Yeah. She's like, you know. I... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Colleen's like, I'm not normally a bad this. person. This guy didn't fuck John's wife. What did he do, right? <laughs> Dude in the armor is like, I didn't fuck anybody. Can I leave? <laughs> No. <laughs> He's on the wall, just kind of like. Try, I'm a dude of mail. I'm a dude of mail. I'm not actually here. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> he can leave. If he wants to leave out, let him run away. We'll find out on his turn. <laughs> no, but I'm going to say, John, you know, take the time to talk to him and to your brother and find out. And we need to heal him if you want to talk to him about anything. <laughs> Roll, 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 uh, he's, roll he's, 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 he's split, split, right. he split like one of the Draw on one shoulder. <laughs> Draw on one shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> Duel of fates right here. I mean, <laughs> we got Tristan split like a, a banana right now. And yeah, yeah we'll, we'll heal that up. Uh, a little bit of stitching. Yeah, 10. I got plus yeah. one. Yeah. 10. Two, two, two. Okay. Winty. John looks over at you and he says, We'll talk to him. Uh, <laughs> you speak with Dick. <laughs> I, I, I just want to talk to him. I just want to talk to him. <laughs> I just want to talk to him. Do, you, do I get to heal him some then? Do we heal him up some? And you said he's bleeding out actively, right? Yeah, yeah. Spent your turn talking uh, to John. Talk turn. It's a, that was an action. That was, I, not that was an my action. action. No. If you'd like to use lay on hands or something on him, you can. I will. Oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> Give him some cake. Give him some cake. <laughs> Here, this is a help. Eat this. It's great. Yeah. Um, I'll do. Well, you said he's bleeding out, so I just want to do enough to. Cast by your yeah. So okay. have it won't take. Won't take much. Like five. Yeah. Ten. Scroll, like, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. Five. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I'll well, give him five lay off. Anybody that's in the dying state, if you give him anything. Scraw, he scraw slices like a bitch, so it's not that big a deal. Spicy, <laughs> spicy chicken. And now, he oh, killed a man with his spice. I mean, <laughs> That dude was going to be a beast in combat, too, but he wasn't ready for two fireballs and a spicy chicken. <laughs> <laughs> the guard finally got him. We the might have laid it on a little got thick him. for that final. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, blow, man. Blow the load, man. That's what it's all about. <laughs> all right. That's my turn. Uh, it's the night's turn around the sun. Uh, yeah, he's just he, he's just gonna do, do. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll wave him past. <laughs> he's gonna get that next to Scrub. Be like, <laughs> Scrub, like a little white flag. He's like, I didn't He hasn't left my threatening squares yet. So. <laughs> he's gonna say, <laughs> he's, 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 he's right here and he's gonna move like through Vincent, who's surprised. She's a soup steps aside. He's, yeah, he's gonna say, yeah, I love him. <laughs> <laughs> he runs. What do you mean he runs? Yes, I run him through. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> You're rolling a dag scare no. for leaving engagement. <laughs> He's gonna kill it. Uh, I rolled a 18 total. <laughs> oh my god, he's so dead. He skewered from one end to the other. He skewered into the wall right there. He was gonna take care of Tim's kids, though, huh? 
Uh, not even so ten 14 friend. points of damage. <laughs> yeah, that's him, he's nor dead. his friend. <laughs> eight friends can swell by. Take your vengeance. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Might have been a bit extreme, but okay, sure, yeah. Oh my god! Why would you do that to Jim? <laughs> Tim and Jim. I know. Tim and Jim. They're the best. Around. He's dead, Jim. In all, dead. in all honesty, it's what a barbarian would do. <laughs> Especially one in a rage. So yeah, that yeah. We we all know what we signed up for. We had the conversation at the gates of what's this place called again? We just ran Luxembourg. Into Luxembourg. <laughs> we both ran to a room with two fireballs. We didn't really know what was in the room. It could have been a nursery. Exactly. I had no idea. It could have been a nursery. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been a nursery. We knew. with the arm guards. Oh. We're going to nuke the room. <laughs> we got good security. Well, sort of good security. And help against fireballs. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, you got a point there. Maybe we should have looked first. Ah, fuck it. <laughs> it turned out okay. We'll, we'll go about that. By them hearing the John Cena theme song, they should have escorted the children out. <laughs> right there. They had like three seconds to get the kids out. Or whatever. They knew what happened when the door was kicked in. Yeah. They, they knew what was next. S Super Slam! <laughs> uh, is Champ there? Yeah. Who's Champ? Well, that question will be answered this Super Slam Sunday! <laughs> On pay per view! <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> bum, bum. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna exit combat. Yep. And have I'm a long done. rest. And have a long rest. <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah. At least. I got, I got like three spell slots left. You did the thing with your wife. <laughs> go, go heal. Go do something else. You want to you. chicken. Yeah, like I'm more fucked up than he is. I know, so am I. Like, I I, I feel have the, just read the barbarian not take any damage. I can actually take I can heal him. Nah, I took damage. Um, I can actually take, I can do cure light wounds on Vincent. That, that's something great. Yeah. great. Yeah. So, John. Set. Yeah. Okay, uh, that puts me back to 20 from the cap of 22. Uh, thank you, Nelson. Well, if you take a short rest, I can use my hit dice. Yeah. John loomed over a pleading Tristan. He was cleansed, memory cleaned of his sin to save his sanity and to rob John of his final victory. How could John kill him now? The pain he would inflict would mean nothing. Tristan could feel no remorse or regret for a crime he did not know he committed. Jonathan, I may be able to uh, try to revert this effect if you wouldn't mind waiting a few moments. Um, yeah, roll persuasion. Is Layla still alive? Uh, Nobody's checking. I'd like, check. Check. Yeah, I'd like to go check. I'd like to go check. Yes, she's. I so happen to have. She's Jesus making that and She's like. Uh, oh no 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 no! I think we want to do uh, old person. Mm -hmm. Uh, fifteen for persuasion. Seventeen for John. Yeah. Uh, see, he's a. You see, him, he's just sort of lost in his thoughts as he, you know, his brother's basically clawing at the bottom of his pants along his boots you know and he's and he looks down and he says could feel no remorse or regret for a crime he didn't know he committed john looked down at his groveling brother his blue eyes felt heavy and stung with unsung tears smoke slowly rolled down his arms he grabs tristan by the throat with his left hand and lifts him upwards the amber burned away the blue in his gaze he brought his brother in close and pins his back to John's stomach. He grabbed his chin and pulled back, bringing Tristan's eyes skyward so that he could look down and see him. The guilty must atone. Ignorance, ignorance is no excuse for trespass and treason. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> uh, we need to do something, I feel like. You gonna save him? Uh. Savor the moment, John. No. Savor it. John, John. Uh, the evil witch is still alive. I think we can solve this. Do you know how to expel this. a demon? 
<laughs> I mean, sweet. I can. What do I got? What do I got? You have holy water? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. Eighteen. <laughs> whatever your dad did. Yeah. 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 Whatever you did. All right, eighteen rolled good. Plead your case. The evil witch, the one that we knocked out, she's over there. We need to kill her. And she said that he doesn't remember, which means she's the one that's made him forget. You need to find out what she knows, or why she cast the spell to begin with. Why? What's? What does this have to do with anything? Why she would spite Jonathan? I thought she was dead. So no, she's been dying. Dying. Oh, dying. I know. John, uh, oh, she's so okay. John, well, uh, you, you did the finishing blows on her. John yeah, will. Uh, Don't you see? <clears throat> he will drop Tristan and he'll throw him across the floor to. Uh, it probably hurts. <laughs> yes. I can't stand him. it. <laughs> yeah. I will catch him. I'm, I'm very strong. What? He, sh he threw it to me. Which half? John. <laughs> I feel so. He slowly. The banana, not the pill. Yeah. <laughs> John will walk, uh, will walk over to where Layla lay on the ground, uh, which I assume is next to. Uh, yeah, right there. You now. Yeah. I'm going to check her. She's better yeah. evil, so let him in this way with her. She, she, mm. And he, no, no. he reaches. Or maybe like that. I don't know. He reaches down next okay. to her and he grabs her I'll by the, the hair on the back of her head and he lifts her up all the way to where her feet are dangling to the east. And uh, you see she's unconscious. And after a few seconds, you see her. And she coughs up something sort of black and it oozes out of her lip. And she looks over at John and she smiles and she's got blood in her teeth. <clears throat> she says, <laughs> didn't have a spine for it, did you? And uh, John says, what did you do? She says, I saved him. Just like I saved her. And just like I'm going to save you. You think they could live with themselves after what they did? Do you, you think that either one of them could go on living a peaceful life and forget about you that you ever existed? That she has a child with you. Do you think little David is going to be able to forget who his real father is? No. So we had to perform a little surgery to make sure they could. Little cutting onions is what we like to call it. I went in to their minds and I separated those memories. They're still in there, but they can't remember them anymore. And I stitched back together a happy story, just like the one where you married my sister, you worthless piece of shit. Oh, the sister, lovely. Hmm. You took everything from her. She was the pride and joy of our line. And you stole her, took her on some stupid wagon and took her 300 miles north. And what, put a ring on her finger and a happy farmhouse and pumped her full of 200 cc's of liquid fucking dream killer and gave her a child. She was the best of us. That was uh, that that was a good Rick and Morty reference. I love it. <laughs> so do whatever He's you, Jerry. So do whatever you're gonna do, John. <laughs> but just fucking get on with it, if you got the spine for it. Otherwise, cut him loose. He doesn't know anything. Kill her. Kill but them both. He <laughs> but he knew. Uh, Originally. Brown one. Mm -hmm. Yes. There's so, something particularly evil going on with Jonathan, and it, yeah. frankly, it scares the shit out of me. Is there anything that you think you might be able to do? I can uh, detect good or evil. But I think we know. That doesn't. We know that he's evil. I think. Uh, <laughs> I, good or evil? Uh, Why are we all glowing red? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. The uh, radar is going off. We're surrounded. <laughs> so. Well, I have no idea how the to strip this thing from him, but... Uh, Did that willingly back in the day. Oh, yes. Yeah. She's, she's awful. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm leaving with the chicken. Kill him. <laughs> no, that, 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 oh, that lady. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I thought you meant Kill her. her. Kill him. No, yeah. Well, they still did the sin, John. Exactly. They just felt bad about it later. Is that but they still fine? knowingly <laughs> chose this path. Well, it's like, I want to be heard. <laughs> I'm moving. I'm slowly moving him out of the room. Do you remember that she's <laughs> yeah, dragging she's she's dragging dragging out of corpse. <laughs> He's still in half. Ta- I healed him. He's not in half anymore. Is he in half? Yeah. You him. healed the bottom. Like, so there's just a stump. That's not true. <laughs> He's one person. Thank you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> He's in one piece. <laughs> First of all, I'm a dwarf, so I'm very strong. So and Are he's, you? Very, he's very small. He's like five, seven. She carries five, around a great sword the you. size of her. Of course yeah, she's no, strong. I'm very strong. I'm slowly dragging him uh, out of the room. Waffle, so I've got one arm and you've got the waffle, other arm. <laughs> and you're basically a horse. <laughs> to, answer, to answer chat, chat wanted to know if the memory wipe was before or after she married Tristan. It was after. She, was, she married him knowing full well the weight of her decisions, but she couldn't live with herself for it. So her sister purged those memories so that she for could be yeah. for her so that she could so go she on had them had her yeah, they still did the dick move then okay yeah, so yeah. Dick move, yes. Yeah. Yes. yes it still happened we're on your side it's <laughs> it still happened and they did very much love each other but it's it felt so wrong because john was married to her because even though he was wrong he was wrong so I'm they the so in order so in order to escape <laughs> in order to chicken. escape the guilt <laughs> and to to send her home her sister trimmed her memories so that she thinks that she's only been married to Tristan for the last 10 years and that John never existed. And what, what about Tristan? So Tristan knew full well what he was mm-hmm. doing. Tristan, yeah, Tristan, yeah, they both know full well what they were doing when they got into it. Yeah. Oh, they knew full well. <laughs> but they, they're ignorant they, to it now. Did they think that he was going to come they back for more, though? Like maybe they, they thought, thought he was going to die anymore. anymore. No, maybe we should look at all. Had five. they heard well, they any reports that he was the dead? The erased of him, so even if he came back, it's like, oh look, we're innocent. No, <laughs> kill the fucker. Did did the sister? <laughs> People are starting them? to see it your way. <laughs> did went they? Along with it. I'm on the fence. <laughs> no, the, ma- the magical sister. Did yes. she convince them that John was dead? No. Nobody knew for a fact if John well, was alive John or dead. How long have you been away? Ten years. Ten years. Ten years. Right. No contact. No letters. No nothing. He was writing. He wrote letters. He, wrote he, did. Letters. he, did. he, did. So well he did write letters. Did she yeah. she did them? not. Never got she them. never got them. Oh. But no proof. No body. <laughs> no proof. Right. No body. So and, the then, sister, so and then. So then. She was bringing to one, these things. Thing, like, would the, we know that she even, didn't get the letters? Even if the letters never made it. Right. Paycheck kept coming in. Ah. So he wasn't dead. Yeah. They were fine taking his money. You yeah. know, that right? She took. You They're know, fine she taking took each other. Is yeah. there evidence that they took the money? Maybe it's just piled up. I mean, well, even it's even in the letter at the very beginning stated that oh, she, yeah. the, the letter stated that you know she thanked him for what he did. Uh, she is. All right, fine. I evil. <laughs> Chad, I drop him. <laughs> drop the bitch. I drop. Dro- I dropped him. Drop I that one. Drop that one. I mean, she needs to die. Like, you need to kill the sister. I tried to. For sure. Well, she so, because she's just, you know, she's got she, her and John, like, make a good partner. They're both very ragey. Do you. All right, I'm going to go ahead and ask. Do you want me to turn into a snake and eat her? How big of a snake can you turn into? <laughs> Giggity. <laughs> <laughs> Craw. I thought it definitely was... agrees to this plan of eating <laughs> and a, a constrictor snake. I can turn into a constrictor snake. So, yeah, you can. Uh, yeah, I could probably do it. I mean, it doesn't specify. It could be an anaconda. Would would uh, anybody be against me uh, eating said sister? Nope. No, no, it. We're Don't all you. for it. No. Chat, oh, chat says turn into a liger. <laughs> a liger. Uh, yeah. I can. I'm not high enough level. <laughs> liger zero. <laughs> No, it's uh, the one. Zoid. Yeah, I will, I will it's kind the same of as a line. Watch this. I'm not, I'm not high enough level. <laughs> John, uh, John has Layla out, and she'll. He's got her uh, by the hair on the head. Children, children. Yes. I'll let you know when I'm done. Okay. <laughs> uh, he has her by the hair of the head, and. He reaches out with his left palm and places it over her mouth. 
And as he does, um, everybody sees her sort of try to gasp for air and doesn't get any. And after a few seconds, uh, something ripples like up the side of her temple and crosses her forehead. And then he removes his hand and there is a little white gem in his hand and he crushes it. It turns to dust and is falls he to dead? the floor. She took, she took her soul and crushed she's it? still breathing. And he, that was the memory. And he, he throws her to the floor and he says, you are attuned to magic no more. Mm. Suffer as a mortal would suffer. No, oh, even worse. I guess you don't have to eat her anymore. You can eat a part of her anyway. Well, now I don't oh, want to. He places her... Take her hands. <laughs> right. He places her <laughs> back down on her feet, and then he takes his boot and comes at her shin sideways with it and cracks her femur bone in half and she collapses on, collapses off one side so her bends it breaks her leg between right. the knee yeah. and the, the ankle she screams in agony and falls to the ground and immediately tries to heal herself yeah, nothing, she can, there's do nothing she can do now she just has to suffer huh? <laughs> <clears throat> he turns and locks his eyes back on his brother mm -hmm. Left and he'll look at all of you. Any more objections? No, no objections. Uh, Jonathan, what? After your, you know, rampage of vengeance, uh, what, are, what are your plans? Are you, yeah. you gonna go <laughs> what are you doing after this? You want to go to Denny's? <laughs> <laughs> Could really go for that platter right now. <laughs> um. <clears throat> he picks Tristan up once again, spins him around, and you know, places his back against his stomach and pushes his head backwards with his, uh, where he's looking down at Tristan's eyes and he looks down at him and says, the guilty must atone. Ignorance is no excuse for trespass and treason. His multi-layered voice echoes at this point. It sounds like there's more than one voice coming from his throat. The smoke forms into blade, into a blade's edge along the tip of his fingers. He slowly push back uh, he slowly pushes back on Tristan as he flails about trying to break his grasp the smoke from beneath him comes up and wraps around his appendages he slowly pushes the blade down into Tristan's right eye the younger man screams and claws at John's form as his appendages are squeezed you hear a wet snapping sound akin to celery breaking underwater Tristan inhales sharply in quick panic breaths See no sin, brother. John screams, smoke rolling into his brother's mouth from his own. John slowly misplaces his text. <clears throat> John slowly <laughs> moved, it moved his hand from his brother's ear and glided it down the flesh. Trist Tristan's muffled screams cut the air as the front of his trousers are soaked. John cuts away the flesh until he rolls Tristan's eardrums between his fingers. Here, no trespass, brother. John rattled, the dread, uh, John rattled off, dropping a bit of flesh to the floor, stomping it beneath his boot. This guy is still alive, right? Oh yes, Can very. I just stab him with my sword. <laughs> I feel like he's just torturing him. Let's That's just kind of the point. Him, right? Right? No, but you can just kill him. No, yeah, but no. yeah, honestly, Jonathan's kind of scary, and I'm tired. I mean, he's scary. I mean, like, I don't <laughs> kind of scary, and I'm tired. <laughs> Going on with that. Spider Ball took a lot out of us. Fine. Go ahead. You need to torture him. All just sits there. I feel really bad about this, but okay, keep going. <laughs> I mean, everyone else is like, oh, it's a great idea. No, she's over there like. <laughs> Lastly. <laughs> Too bad she's not a vengeance paladin. She might be rooting him on. <laughs> Lastly, John moved his hand to Tristan's yeah. mouth. The smoke slipped between his teeth, hyperextending his jaw as the skin between his jaw cracks and breaks. Mm -hmm. John reaches into Tristan's mouth and wraps his hand around his brother's tongue and pulls upward. The flesh stretches and begins to tear. Blood vessels pop as his blood begins to seep down his throat, a gurgling sound of him drowning on his own blood. Is uh, heard. I'll wait, I'll say. <laughs> The sound of skin peeling fills the air, and a wet tear of dislocated bone and tendons thwacks through the room as John's arm shoots upward. Tristan's tongue was free to the open air. Speak, 
no lies. Brother, John says, his voice once again his own. The golden amber energy flowed out of Tristan and into him, eaten by the smoke. The room is illuminated with a blue light as Tristan's memory rests in John's right hand. John holds the crystal tight, thanks to his knees beside his brother. Relief and regret washing over him. Like bitter, bitter, sweet agony. Best not to dwell on these things. <laughs> Let's go get a beer. Ah. There's a pub down the street. Let's take let's take a scud to the Winchester and get a pint. Outside. Boot falls can be heard. Yeah, I bet. Yeah. I'm already out there. Here's a question. Uh why why isn't Vespera here? Or his wife. Tristan's wife. Oh, business stuff here. Yeah. As John goes through Tristan's vestments, finds two train tickets. One for himself and one for his wife. I wonder if they, they knew he was coming. And they, they are, trying to they are scheduled. It is scheduled to leave an hour from now. Right. Wow. To find mm. her. Look at that very convenient time. No. Nah, counter spell. Will we be uh, meeting uh, <laughs> uh, the fortunate missus at the train station, or do we know where she's going to be before we go to the train station? John seems to think that she will be there. Excellent. Waiting for him. <laughs> How far away is this train station? Like um, walking distance time. Uh, thirty minutes. Excellent time for a beer. So, John collects himself as best he can. Um. Oh my God! Thanks, Falcon, for the tier one sub. Cool, cool. Um. We need to leave. Will Here's someone with a dagger politely stab that girl in the neck so she can die? Yes, yeah, she's suffering pretty badly. At this point. I would say uh, once John leaves the room, yeah. absolutely. Like, you won't know. Yeah. <laughs> say, in the room, John might be like, I wanted her to suffer. So, John leaves. We walk, goes back the way you came. And, uh, is Tristan dead now? Oh, very okay. dead. <laughs> okay. right. Super dead. Uh, I'm first out of the like front door. Yeah. Uh, like, I'm the leaving also What's going on with the boot falls? There is a, a highly armed security detail approaching rapidly. So yeah. is there a back door we can get out of in the, in the a bunch of windows the shop? Right. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, that. Well, I didn't want to bring it up, but. I think I can turn into an owl and just fly away. <laughs> and I didn't want to be that kind of a dick, but um, maybe I need to turn into a hawk and fly the hell away from you people. Um, I do have a bird. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> like, Everybody who can fly away <laughs> flies away. Uh, I'm going to grab my copper wire and uh, I'll message... Uh, I message Bronwyn and say, uh, the fuzz is on us. <laughs> the fuzz is on us. <laughs> Guys, we gotta go. Is there a back door now, like a way to get out? There's gotta, no? Just the front, so we're waiting in it. Yeah. <laughs> what place doesn't have a back door exit? Like a fire exit? There's windows. There's gotta be a fire exit. <laughs> if they had a windows. fire exit, this would not have went so poorly. <laughs> John, uh, John speeds up. He's, he's gonna be in a dead run to get out there to where Vincent is. Well, yeah, take off with stay, them. So you two flying folks are headed out the window? Yeah, I guess. How high up are we? Uh, yeah, well, the, the the secret passage lit up quite a ways. I'd say you're probably 10 stories off the ground. In, oh, in the God. God. That's really high. Yeah, it's <laughs> up from the floor level where the flower shop was. What kind of flower shop skyscraper is? <laughs> <laughs> it's built into the side of a mountain. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. All right, let's lock the door. About the time you all gather, you know, come out and then around, you are basically caught red-handed as the security detail comes around the corner. Invisibility. <laughs> <laughs> just you? Just you? Yeah. Just you. 
You're like, me too, I'm out. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sheriff, you wouldn't believe what just happened. These kids uh, started killing just... on my property. <laughs> I'm not this is on the property. They just started killing themselves. <laughs> <laughs> I love that movie so much. <laughs> so, uh, John uh, choosing discretion over the better part of Valor runs. Hmm. I'll follow where John yeah. goes, all yeah, invisibly. Like, invisibly, you're out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, really, it's only him. Is a the, he shape shifts. He you, two, flies. you two fly. He fly. We you don't out the top yeah. window. Yeah. 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 And you and you two are invisible. Yeah. So it's really on John to escape <laughs> on his own. Come on, yeah. bring it up, John. The suck, Jonathan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, I'm gonna make three rolls for him, and oh, this, this is, is a good pick. This is, a good pick. <laughs> this, is uh, this is it's basically great, uh, uh, using those old taste way. rules. Yeah. So uh, John's gonna make his first roll. He does pretty well. And his second one is poor. So he might stumble or fall down or something. And his third one is very good. So uh, and then the fuzz is gonna do poorly the first round, uh, very well the second round. Those close the gap and then epically fail. On the last one, so uh, John in the in the final moments of, of his chase through um, Luxembourg, right toward you know where the where the train uh, depot is, he will lose the fuzz right there. And uh, and you up you guys from all you flying people up above are can see that like it is more than just a handful. Like this, the full weight of this place is coming down on this guy who's definitely linked to a chain of murders at this point. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> Very good um, now, is there any kind of magical or steampunky kind of, you know, wanted posters out there already? You know, no, is there like any? That. Okay. Not, not that fast. <laughs> they don't have anyone illustrating immediately. <laughs> I just want to, you know, I'm just curious because, you know, I'm, I stand out and I don't, I don't know if word of a flying murderous bird man's already gotten around. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I'm Birdman, <laughs> John. That's my alias. Okay. <laughs> um, <clears throat> John, the girl, I'm quickly running into this. said <laughs> that <laughs> got two she changed their memories where they wouldn't yep. remember you, right? <laughs> That's it. I'm yeah. that, baby. And that you had a son. All my dice manipulations gone. Yes. I don't have anything left to do. I don't think. Well, you got, a, you got a few left. You still have a third ball. Oh. Your brother's dead. You can still fireball you. And gone. You can light up the whole train. She doesn't remember you. <laughs> long as not gone. Well, there are the two tickets. Car. Tell her that you work for Tristan. And he's not going to be able to come. So he wanted you to protect her <laughs> on the trip. <laughs> Later on, you get a letter. He's dead. You still get the girl. I, I appreciate your ingenuity. But she thinks that she's been married to this man for 10 years. She's not going to leave this train station without him, regardless of who I say I am. Not only that, but can you hear that? And he, you know, talked about the fucking fuzz that's everywhere at this point. He says, do you really think that they're not going to stop this train? Then we start the train now. He, uh, you can see just this little little tuft, this little bit of smoke kind of curl up around his. He says, "The deal was for three. I need one more." You're the only one talking to him. So, <laughs> so I have it. Yeah, <laughs> get us out of this situation without awakening oh, some sort of evil entity. Um, what if we killed the woman? <laughs> Vengeance for my boy John. <laughs> Technically, uh, he did hire us to the job, and 
this is coming down to the wire. I'd really it'd be better in you know, this situation. They're, they're fine. So, um, I could message them, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm talking to you. Yeah. We're, we're sitting here just uh, exchanging words, not being visible at all. Yeah, all invisible and shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holding and hands shit. so we can find each other. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. That's a plot. Yeah, he'll, uh, he'll look over at you right up and you. he'll say, I need. If you would be so kind, just give me a few minutes with her. I won't kill her. Perhaps we don't unleash the thing. I think I know. Do we know if gotcha. there's anything inside her? Just buy me a little time. No, look, but, um, Do what I can. Please. Gentlemen, or anybody that can hear, and I don't know we're I'm about trying. to make mm. one heck of a distraction. They're planning. How are they coming? <laughs> They're plotting a murder over there. <laughs> okay. Gentlemen. Do you have methods or something? Any of that? Not innocent, though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're yeah, technically sort of. all kind of we're all there. Thing. We're all there, right? I mean, we're at the train station. Well, I assume so. Whatever everybody's doing. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're over there. Out loud. We're over. So you, <laughs> gentlemen, I hope you have another fireball left. Not how for many her. guards? <laughs> there's. I think there's just probably, there's probably uh, that's that's fifty or sixty. Okay. That are like basically they're swarming the streets. Does, the, does the streets narrow as it? Gets towards yeah, the train station. Yeah, down. That's actually the focal point of one end of the town. Mm. Gentlemen, your trick from before was quite exceptional. Is there any way you could recreate it? Can I make a perception check to see if I can see... Uh, yeah, yeah. Now I forgot her name. Miss Barra. Miss Barra, yes. You want to see if you can see her? Yes. Sure. Don't kill her. Let John kill her. John no. Was <laughs> uh, it's a nine. This is my idea. No, you can't see. Yeah. This is my idea. There are I'm out of lucky. Guards. I'm out of all my dice. It's just if flat roll two, now. This is bullshit. <laughs> I want a nap. <laughs> if you two can throw a double fireball again, I'm going to call call lightning down with it. I'm and I'm all of these guards, one. all of these guards. Are about to take a nap for infinity. <laughs> uh, Please down. tell me it's rain. Right, right, right. I will so, so, take so, my so, copper wire. Let's find out. <laughs> I, I will. I will message. It is good. I, I will message Nephilim and yeah. say, hey, "Listen, I, I believe if we kill Vesper before Jonathan gets to her, we may not uh, awaken some sort of evil entity." And, um, honestly, I don't know what's going on right now, but I'm quite terrified of whatever the hell is possessing Jonathan. So, I am colluding with trying to destroy the sparrow. If you can reply to this message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This message will self-destruct. <laughs> oh, God. Kill if you better. kill the girl, he made a deal with the demon, or whatever this thing is, deal that the deal is for three. Which means if you kill the girl, then that means John has to die. Jonathan. Because the demon got cheated. The deal is for three. That is not necessarily our problem. I think I know what... <laughs> it sounds like a you problem. It sounds like a Jonathan problem. I think yeah. I know what Jonathan's going to do. But... We're about to have the appropriate amount of reinforcements to handle Jonathan, and we just have to take care of Vespera and disappear. Uh, then, Jonathan gets locked away, along with this evil entity, and... Uh, uh, we get to go on our merry way. Yeah. We resolve the moral imbalance of the world. By killing Vesper. <laughs> I don't like the situation, but that's what I can think of right now. I think that he's going to let her go and kill himself. Mm -hmm. And that's how the demon's going to get the third. 
I've got oh. a sneaky suspicion no. that he's the one dude. We just <laughs> no, <did>. Colleen <laughs> said. Kill that sparrow, and then we see what happens. <laughs> see what happens. Oh, we can catch them in a fireball and kill them all. And we just need it. We don't. Okay. We've never seen Good a idea. demon. Good Wouldn't idea. that be cool? This is, what, this is what we do. I don't know. Would it? Okay. He's got, know, a, he's got a valid point. <laughs> we back away. We let him do whatever he's going to do. If he does kill her and starts to go transform into some crazy demonic entity, I'll use call lightning and these two will call fireball at the same time. And whatever's that. inside John's going <laughs> to die. <laughs> One fireball. He can't get it. I'm quite tapped on fireball. <laughs> You, I can you literally throw a fireball and turn invisible no, again really. and yeah, hope I can. Do I have anything fireball. offensive anymore? Not really. Anything ranged at all? Yeah, I can fireball. <laughs> Fair. Okay. <laughs> Let him see what he's going to do, and we'll go from there. I agree. John, it's up to you. I've said my piece. As soon as we spot up this fair, destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I Jonathan, agree we've come too far. <laughs> the voice of reason. Yeah. Don't oh become God. a bitch. That's not the time. Don't, Don't you fucking start back down in. now. Oh, no, uh, back maybe back there's a better it. way. We've been on this great murderous spree throughout this town. Now's not the time to say no. Horrible bird. You're a horrible bird. Bad chicken. We're a bad chicken. chicken. We're after sex and stories chicken. that no one's ever well, seen or had. Everyone so. else is having this discussion. I fly down and talk to the sparrow. Anyone else? Wait, have you no, spotted it? No. Yeah. 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 It's on my phone. You don't know what guys, she looks like. You guys are all talking already. Actually, she does. She, do. she was there for the memory. Yeah. Son of a bitch. <laughs> well, oh, yeah, she look like? Why are you guys... There's a trampoline. So why are you guys are... Quite bonable. Right. <laughs> I don't know. I swing so, right. John, uh, John will shake your hand and he'll uh, put on his hat and he'll walk up the stairs to the train landing. Uh, about this time, all of the guards come rushing downward toward stop and they're basically ordering, you know, anybody and you can't see him because he's around the corner, but they're basically screaming orders. You know, if, if you are, cease and desist, get on your stomach, put your hands behind your head, you know, at any person, it's at, at this point, you know, if you're in the area, you're guilty right this second. Um, can't see us. <laughs> <laughs> um, mages begin in uniform begin to come out. I'm making myself dispersed. <laughs> <laughs> um, John walks over and he, he takes a seat on the bench beside Vespera. It's the time. <laughs> and she. That was the time. <laughs> he's, he says. And she, she kind of looks up at him and her eyes sort of light up. You know, and she says, well, John, it's good to see you. I didn't know you were here. Uh, if you'll wait just a little while, Tristan will be along. He was, uh, we're headed back to my, my father's house or, uh, manor back down in silver. If you'd like to come with us, I know there's, you know, no military bases or anything, but you could, maybe you could just spend a few days with us. It'd be great. And John, uh, you see, he's, he's trying to hold it together as best he can. And he's, he says, are you happy? Well, yes, I've been married to him for years. He's a good man. What about, what about David? Where's David? Oh, he's over there. He's, he's getting a snack. He'll be back in a second. That's the boy too. <laughs> <laughs> he's just, and uh no <laughs> david uh david comes back over and, and and you know he's got this like uh sort of sweet treat it's almost Losing like a, a see it's like rock it's like rock candy uh but it's got these little snowflakes that kind of orbit around it like sugar and um he says who's this and you know she explains to him he says, this is your uncle john he, uh, he's you know haven't seen him in a long time he's been at war and uh john kind of looks at her up and down and he says Got another one? Yeah, she puts her hand on her stomach and says, Number two will be along in a few months. Um, <laughs> he's, you see him, he just kind of, you know, he puts his hands over his face. He says, um, Tristan, 
<laughs> Tristan sent me along to um to to tell you to go ahead and get on this train because your bags are already on it. So uh, then that he'll meet you at the the next station and he'll uh, gather you there. And I'll I'll ride with him. Don't worry about it. And she says, "Are you sure?" He says, "Yeah." And he he reaches in his pocket and he hands her a handful of gold coins. He says, "You could just go and you know if you have to wait a day or two, here's money for a room. You'll be fine." He says. She says, well, thank you. I really appreciate that. And, you know, she holds up, you know, she stands up and she um, takes David by the hand. And uh, he says, John looks at her and says, have you picked a name yet for the little one? He says, Don't say it. Well, yeah. It's actually, according to the seer, they told us they were two, believe it or not. So, <laughs> David's gonna be a, a big a big brother to two more. <laughs> it's it, we thought we the girl we we thought about naming her Ember because we thought it was pretty. But Tristan insisted on naming it after your mother. And David said, Really? We decided to name her Rune. Oh my God, Katie! <laughs> and the uh, the boy, the boy we're gonna call John. You see him; he tears up. He says, "Thank you." She steps on the side of the train, and, and David comes up and hugs him around the waist, and he says, "I'll see you later, Uncle." And he says, "Yeah." She gets on the train, and uh, John uh, takes his pistol out from under his holster and opens the chamber on the side of it and empties all the bullets onto the ground, removes the case with the caster weapon in his bag and empties it onto the ground. He puts his hands up, and he walks back down the stairs and surrenders. Did he have three kids? Three. Well, we know where one is. <laughs> we know which one's Oswald. Awesome. Yeah. It's David. The oldest one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But there's another one missing. <clears throat> Save time. None of you will be caught. You can make your way out of Luxembourg, but I would not show face again if I were you. <laughs> um, Imagine that. Roger, Roger. Oh, I have these tinted spectacles. <laughs> John, John would be will be tried as war criminal, effectively. <laughs> um, but once they discover his situation, he will be put to work as a uh, as a prisoner on a chain gun. He'll be he'll be sentenced to a penitentiary called Whetstone, not far from here. In the deepest bowels of Whetstone, he will use his gifts in order to extract memories from captured spies the thing inside of him will continue to feed and the cycle of the ever crystal will continue to crack slowly we should have killed john could have yeah sounds like it well i didn't throw the fireball because you walked over there you, and that I my hand. <laughs> and that is that next is the time, end no, next time yeah, pretty cool. That is the end of Broken Memories. Suck. Uh, uh, I thought she wasn't supposed to remember him at all. Because of the spell. He's still Tristan's brother. But I thought like said thought the thought she said that. Being married. Yeah. Okay. So like the rest of the. You don't remember him mm -hmm. taking her to Pound Town. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching, Internet. We appreciate it. <laughs> If you want to take some of the Thank you, Falcon and Waffle, for the yeah, subs. You can. Over my girlfriend. Wish I could send you food. We have so much of it. Quite good. We do have a good chunk of food. And that is the end. We will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.